<clears throat> Bam. Hi. Hey. What's up, boys? Um, chuck this on. We're gonna be here for a hot minute. Chuck on some beats by Dre. Not by Dre, but. Just chuck on some beats in general. Um, ladies and gentlemen, it is, uh, it's Monday. The start of the week's a bit of a tough one, but it's Monday p.m., 6 p.m. We're here for a bit of a day, a bit of a grind, a bit of a hustle and bustle. We're gonna do, we're gonna do some things today, maybe do some rollers on Raiden Shogun, dude. We're gonna get some Raiden Shogun stuff. Uh, but yeah, welcome to the streamer. We're just gonna vibe tonight. Again, another vibe sesh because that's all playing gacha games is when you're actively doing it. It's just vibing. You're just doing nothing for a long time. Um, you're just kind of waiting for shit to happen, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, but what I'm gonna first of all do is just browse Twitter because I was browsing Twitter before the stream started. And I was just, just kind of looking, just to, sh just at shit. Uh, and I, bro, I love Twitter so much sometimes. Just seeing dumb people online, it's just, there's nothing more fulfilling than seeing absolutely just dumb, dumb people online. And also apparently seeing some pretty incredible, uh, Genshin Impact Serena Teapot builds. This, guy, this person made a goddamn... I have no idea what the fuck this is. A mech, he, he made a Transformer. That's incredible. But yeah, I've just been watching people argue online about anime, and, uh... It was about One Piece, the infamous anime. Uh, I just love watching One Piece, like, debates and whatnot. They, they kind of amuse me. Bad this, bad that, good this, good that. And then, and in the end... Cringe. One Punch Man, then versus now. I should. I want to raid one punch, but I also just cannot be asked. Uh, but I, I was watching, yeah, reading a One Piece thing, talking about bad pacing and whatnot. And I just, it just got to me, and I was thinking, like, I, I just, at, to what point are we going to defend things and just try to make them out, make make them out to be good, right? At a certain point, every something is bad, and slow pacing is bad. No one wants to sit through a fucking four-hour slog, right? That's why ninety-nine percent of like, long movies are terrible, right? 99% of long movies are terrible. Like, the only good long movies out there are what, Lord of the Rings? Uh, fucking... Something else, I think. There's another long movie, it was like three and a half hours. Um, but yeah, it's like, long shit to take is just annoying. Boring. Top 10 best boys of the season, Fall 2020. Ichigo from Bleach is number one, Denji from Chainsaw, and then Lloyd from... And Spike's family. Damn. Nice. Yeah. I'm I hate anime. I uh I pretty much hate every anime. There there's not like an ana there's no anime that I just don't have like some sort of disdain for. Every single one of them. Every single anime on the on the planet of Earth is just is just dog shit. The community is either dog shit or the anime itself is dog shit. There's never an anime that has a good community and a good anime. They're always dog shit in some way. Holy shit. Scaramouche's Japanese voice actor needs to chill sometimes, I'll be honest with you. I've, uh, I've grown to hate Scaramouche's Japanese voice actor. Not, not him specifically, but him as fucking... Him as Scaramouche, dude. He makes too much noise. Dog shit. Scaramouche is dog shit. All anime is dog shit. Tissue, welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're having a great evening. 
I can't stand Scaramouche. He talks too much. He's Japanese too much. He's just it's just it's just too much of everything, and I just can't handle it. So yeah, thank you for joining us. As I said this, on there is one person on the record who knows that I hate Scaramouche. Um, we're gonna start off with some TCG. Kaya. Ah. Let's play some Genius Invocation Tissiger. I bought some Nuggies. Yeah? What sauce did you buy? What sauce did you buy? Right, that's the better question, is what sauce? Because if it's not the right sauce, you can throw it in the bin. Actually, no, don't ever throw Nuggies in the bin. Nuggies are God to you. Is this for Fischl? It is. Um, how about me? I'm okay. I've just been reading Twitter. Really just been reading Twitter. Um, I was reading an anime debate on Twitter. That's what I was talking about just earlier. Uh, is, uh, I was re reading an anime debate about, like, One Piece. And that's, the uh, and, uh, yeah, it's really just a dog shit anime, dog shit community, dog shit everything. Everything about it is dog shit. I'll be on the record to say, One Piece is dog shit. The thing is, I bought cheese powder. Incredible. About One Piece, yeah. Listen, I'm, it's not a proud moment to talk about One Piece, but I, I was partaking in a bit of a conversation about it. And, yeah. It's just a dog shit anime. You know, there's no redeeming features. All the characters suck. They all look weird. Uh, power system is wacko. It's just a terrible anime, really. I'll, st I'll say it on the record. Terrible anime. No regrets. Not a single regret. Um, That's pretty much all. That's all. Uh, yeah. Hope your day's going well. Good. Cheese powder. Um, didn't know cheese powder was a thing. No, I did. No, I did know powdered cheese is a thing. It's the stuff that we use here in Australia. There's a thing called mac and, mac, mac and cheese? Cheesy mac? Mac. Mac something. Mix something. Mac something? I don't know. But yeah, there's that. And you put it with, like, combine it with water and whatnot to make cheese, apparently. It tastes okay. Uh, I daren't talk about One Piece. Should I be hurdled by some randos? Oh, listen, these randos are fucking... Fucking cringe lords, though. Uh, if, listen, if you watch One Piece actively, cringe lord. King, cringe lord. Levi, cringe lord. All of them cringe lords. Bro, just just watch a 12 episode anime and get it over with, dude. What's this, like, 1000 bullshit? With water? Yeah, well, you know how there's a powdered milk? It's the same thing. Powdered milk and powdered cheese, it's the same kind of concept. You... Um, you just combine it with, uh, water and it makes the thing. Just like, obviously, a, a, like a specific amount of water to make it cheesy-like. It's a, it's a very odd concept, but that's how far we are in the future, so. That's just how progressive the world is right now. It's, it is a bit odd though, with, to be honest with you. The, the, the weirder one for me is the powdered, uh, milk turning into milk with water because there's no water in milk so it's just a bit of like a what uh but yeah uh when you compare it with powdered milk it makes more sense yeah it's a yeah it's essentially that's the easiest way to look at it powdered milk but i i understand powdered milk less than i do powdered cheese i don't know why because i don't know you're, you're like it's like how is it milk then if you're like you're using equal parts water to the amount of milk you want but you're getting milk and i don't know what the fuck you're tasting when you have powdered milk i don't know what it, what the flavor is i just know that it's probably not good is there other powdered things if cheese is basically spoiled milk then is powdered cheese just expired milk powder well no it's fermented Cheese is fermented milk. The solidified and fermented milk. Right? It's not it's not spoiled milk. I would I would classify it more as uh fermented and uh, uh, solidified and fermented milk, which is not an, an any way better shape or form to put it. Uh, but it's, I think it's that more so. So I don't know. Is in powdered cheese just expired milk? Uh, uh, sure, I th I think. There's something here. You're onto something. Not exactly sure what, but you're onto something. 
I actually like milk, pow milk, milk powdered. Uh, I like powdered milk. Like eating it raw or combining it with water. That's that's a critical question in this um discussion right now. Do you like it just raw, like just just chuck it into the mouth, or or with water, both? To be quite frank, I'm not a powdered milk kind of guy. I guess that maybe removes my status as the milkman, uh, because the milkman should know all forms of milk. But yeah, this is this is one form of milk that I am not familiar with. Something about like the the the, the powdered part of it just doesn't scream dairy to me, right? So I'm, I, in my mind, I'm like, you know what? Maybe it's just not meant to be. Maybe it's just not meant to be. And I will never do it. Like, I, no, well, he's actually, no, I, that's wrong. I have had powdered milk before, but it's not by actually having powdered milk. It's by, it's, it's like, because powdered milk is in uh, these, the packets of oats. Right, that's what that's where milk is, that's where powdered milk is often used is in packet oats. Like if you get Uncle Toby's or whatever, some other brands. And that's where powdered milk is always used. So because you can always combine those with like hot water or hot milk. Depends on which one you want. You want more milk or you want more water, doesn't really matter. So I guess I have had it before, but I've always used milk to 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 do the making of powdered milk. So I've always had milk with powdered milk. Like powdered milk with rice. That doesn't sound too bad though. That doesn't sound too bad. Powdered milk with rice. Because that's just kind of sweet, uh, uh, sweet rice or uh, sweet sticky rice or whatever. Whatever you want to call it. I can't remember. My my neighbor, my Filipino neighbor makes that a lot and we get some S sweet sticky, something like that. Uh, but it's like, it's like, if I have powdered milk with milk as the thing that makes it not powdered milk, Am I making more milk, or am I making equal milk? Like, surely I get more milk if I combine the two, right? I get more milk? That would make more sense, right? Or can we make milk by doing it with water? I need questions, and I need answers to these questions right now. Sweet sticky rice is good? Oh, it is, yeah. It is. I like sweet and sticky rice as well. I just like rice in like uh, dishes in general. It's not really specific to any kind of like uh, like savory or sweet. I just like rice. Make make uh, milk wa milk with water. Yeah, see, like the first sentence did make some sense, but fair enough. Make milk with water. That's what I'm thinking though. But then, but then, how do you make milk powder? Is it by using milk? Like, do you make milk powder from milk, and then then you're kind of going into a bit of a like a weird ratio? Can we make infinite milk? I guess my final query to my own, to myself or to anyone ever that can answer this question is, if we make, can we, can we make infinite milk by making milk powder with, uh, and combining it with water to make milk? I don't know, I, I like milk a lot. I like milk. Like, there's something about it. Yeah. You just blame society for our problems? I think society is usually the, the problem. Like, if I can't make infinite milk, like, why then? Like, what's the holdup? Like, why can I not make infinite milk? Um, we could actually chuck... No, we're not going to chuck Tamea. So we're actually going to chuck this lady. Mm, damn, I really... Maybe I should have studied uh, chemistry. I, I, I did study chemistry, but I did fail it, right? Um, maybe I should have studied it a bit better and a bit more. So I can then know the answer to this question. Put down Catherine and my turn. They def planet so infinite milk is infinite power. It, it does, because here's the thing. Without milk, how can we raise children? Children need milk to be raised. And so if I, if I become the owner of all milk on earth i would essentially own all all everything i would own all just period own everything all so i think i may start a, a milk farm i think no sorry a cow a cow farm i think i might get a cow right that might be a good idea chuck timaeus 
do that. We won't do that. Yeah. I might start my own milk farm. It's just something about potential potential milk um, co uh, being a, a co milk conglomerate owner of a milk company or being just being just being milk. Maybe I'll become the dairy. Uh, let's get a no th that need to get rid of that card. A beginning of a re revolution. Well, it might not be a revolution. It'll be a bit more of a indiscreet, oh, sorry, a discreet usurpation of all power. I think that's what it's going to be a bit more. Not not, not so, so much a revolution because I'll be doing this all in secret, but it's going to be a discreet usurpation of power and dairy across the globe. Right? Like, I'm definitely not going to announce this. I'm not going to go on Twitter and be like, I'm taking all the milk. I definitely keep it subtle, and then once people realize all the milk is gone, that's when you strike. That's when you strike, when people have just realized that all the milk is gone. Because then they don't know what to do. Then they're lost. They're like, they're like uh, lost kittens in the winter. They ha they, they're blinded by the idiocy, right? Four damage? Oh, ka-ching. You fucking idiot. You know something? I, I think so. Because I don't even think billionaires could live without a bit of milk, right? I don't even think billionaires could live without a bit of milk. Because, like, if you look at every billionaire, they look like they drink milk. And so I would be stealing power from the masses and the billionaires. Oh, he ended his turn? Oh, why would he do that, man? That's fine. I got my ultimate attack. Because I swear I've seen Jeff Bezos just sipping an up and go or something, right? I swear I've seen it. What about if money's actually made of milk? Not Australian money. Not Australian money. Australian money is is 100% made of plastic. That's why it's that, that's why you can with the Australian money you can just essentially submerge it in water and, no, and and nothing happens. So unfortunately, maybe for the rest of the world, maybe specifically specifically America, your money is absolutely garbage. But, for Australia, plastic money. Did you try and taste it? No, no, no. I just know that our money is uh, plastic. It's it's unbreakable. It's so hard to break uh, Australian money. Yeah, you, you have to really try. You have to really try. Okay, put that out. Is, is Ningon going to attack me again? No! Oh, you! I hate this game. She just used up her whole turn just to fucking ruin my day. Shut up, Fischl. Damn, yeah, sorry, I lost train of thought. I was playing on this playing this cringe ass game called Genpin Tun Shinpact or whatever. Yeah. Um Australian money that I didn't know that for, like, I did know that, but I didn't know American money was so far behind. Um, a lot all of American money, I believe, is still paper. So it's like Oh maybe not all. I just I just I think still though, some money in America is still paper for some reason. I don't know why they don't just upgrade. Like they can just pass a law saying, okay, we've made equal to how many billions of $5 notes there are in the world, uh, in America. This, the old version of this $5 note is literally useless. But then I guess you're like making half of the country poor then, so, because you just made money useless or whatever. But it's like, it's not useless, but like we're slowly going to remove them from existence. And it's like, bro, because paper money, dude, it rains in, in your pocket. 
and you got money in your pocket dude you, you got no more money like it's true it rains one time you got money in your pocket you got no more money now you think it's being reached because of milk eagles wrong theory no wait yes a billionaires aren't actually rich though right then billionaires aren't real and that's my new theory billionaires aren't real official you're dead oh no no she's not oh my god i live to tell another tale but i do need to kill uh ning wang or or the other lady immediately dum 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 Okay. Wait, yes, Oz shoots, he does that. Alright, watch this. Here it comes. That's two damage. That's two damage. Uh one, two. Switch to this lady. Four damage. What? Yeah, billionaires aren't real. So if you look at Jeff Bezos, he's a robot. I hundred percent. There's just something about him. Uh, there's just something about him. If you really look at his eyes, he he never looks human, and that's like to, like look at Elon Musk, another billionaire, just doesn't really look human. And I'm gonna I'm gonna need some sort of proof to prove otherwise because goddamn dude, those guys ain't act, ain't acting real. They they ain't hitting me with a real real actions. No human walks into the building smiling. That's just that's just the first thing. And Jeff Bezos, I think I always see him enter a building and for some reason smile. That doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. So, I'm gonna need some evidence. What's uh, what's with Jeff's prominent presence here? Well, Jeff is a man, unfortunately. <laughs> it's just Jeff's Jeff's funny as fuck, dude. Jeff Bezos, Jeff Bezos, Je Joff Joff Bezos. I don't know. It's just a bit funny, man. He's a funny guy. Enters a room smiling, man. I've never seen a human do that. I've never literally seen a human enter a room and smile. It's fucking crazy. Absolutely ridiculous. Um. Oh, come on, man. I can get the... Ah! If I can still get the Paimon card, we can do this. Come on, Paimon. Nice, look at this. Was it worth it to do this? Turn one. Turn one, do that, just to kill this guy. Incredible. He does he stand with both hands to the side? If yes, then your theory might be holding water. He enters the room smiling and not necessarily hands by both, both, both sides. His hands are attached to his body, which are on his uh, sides. Um, but... It's more so just in general smiling isn't really common. Like, look at anything online when a person enters a room, not because there's cameras, but they just enter a room, never smiling. Never smiling. But this man somehow enters a room smiling. It's uh, kind of crazy. Uh, he's not real. He was abducted by aliens long ago. And, um, I just have a sneaking suspicion. That, uh, some, some fishy is going on. Does this do anything? Okay, it does get rid of a shield. Okay. We're off to a good start. And we're off to the races. Okay, Ike. Oh my god, watch this, ready? We're gonna sacrifice my whole hand. Because that's how you achieve a very easy victory in this whole game, is just sacrificing your whole hand. We're gonna cause another reaction. We got burning. And then we got dendro. And then my minions are gonna shoot, switch to him. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna be full switched official. Uh, unless I pre switch. You know what? It's not gonna deal that much damage. It's gonna deal three damage. We're gonna chuck a heal field. We're gonna be full switch. And then we're gonna end our turn. And we're good. BRB, all G, dude, all G. Now we're just chilling. Today's a very chill stream. We might do some quests. I think I'll do some quests. I'll probably progress the Sumeru quest. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, the, listen, the uh, I think the the Dendro Pyro comp is probably one of the strongest ones in the game, just because 
Once you get a burning field on the ground, you don't really need to try to get any other burning shit on the ground. It's just burning's like instant refreshes itself. You maybe need to just calculate a few other things in terms of application and boom. Gyms, your aunt and whatnot. Bam. Oh, is that... Oh, that was Fischl's. I thought that was Kaching's. Whoops. We're not going to do TCG too much because I don't want to do it any more than I have to on this account. And obviously none of the gems are going anywhere, so we can always just pump it out um, another time whenever we need the gems. Even though we kind of need the gems right now if I want to try to get a ride in Shogun. Hello? Oh, it's Wagner. Uh, yeah, if we want to get Raiden Shogun, I probably should be pumping out the TCG. But it just takes so long, I'd rather sit there like spamming through a quest for some reason. This thing, this game mode frustrates me. So... I need, to get, I need to get rid of the library, it's actually kind of a bad card. I've realized it's a bad card. Okay, okay, okay! Um... Bum, 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 ba -da, bum, ba -da. Ooh, terrible. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -da -dum, da -dum. Dun, da -da -da. Da -da -do 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 -do. Uh, play that. Draw two. Then we get fucked. Royally. I say what we do here is this. We play a Catherine with those two cards. We need to get some kind of damage out in the field. Although it's one. Oh, sorry, it's zero. Uh, we, we need to get rid of that shield ASAPSKIS. Bum ba da da. We get a, he's gonna attack one more time. So we get a switch. And we get to end our turn. Ugh. Lariel enters the stream. Hey, hey, hey. Greetings to you. Welcome, hope you're having a great evening. Thank you for joining us here as we're TCGing. We're grinding a bit of the TCG today. Just not, not, not specifically TCG, but in general, we're grinding gems. So thank you for joining us here. Hope you're having a banger of an evening. Ooh, okay. Okay, I didn't play the Wagner. Bro, who would have thought I'd draw a weapon? Is that Fischl's or Kachings? Uh, Dendro, so we're gonna do that. Oh! Nice. Well, not nice, but it's right. I can't play that. We could play double. No, we couldn't play double heal. We can, but we won't. Um, I'd say we just do this. Four damage. Bro, stop. Don't do that. Uh, I need three Dendro die. We can get rid of Wagner at this point. That's Kaching. I don't really care for that. Do another one of these. He shields himself? I didn't even know. Wait, shouldn't that attack? Oh! I thought that would attack again. What's he doing next? Three physical from the other guy. We switch to this lady. And then I end my turn. Okay. Very good. Yeah, we get to do some just gem grinding. I want to get as many rolls as possible for Raiden Shogun. And if we get her, we get her, and if we don't, uh, we get a guaranteed on Eula when she reruns. So we're just going to chill grind some gems today. I say that, but I'm probably going to get very annoyed of going through and doing things that I've done before. Because there's no skip button, so we'll see how long that lasts. We'll see how long it lasts. Uh, we're on Fischl, so we want Electro. Incredible Electro out there. That, that three Pyro. <sighs> Electro. Um, we can do that. Actually, we can chuck that on there. Then this would give us plus two damage to Electro. Um, I guess that's what we got to do.
I also need more gems for Raiden. Well, if you're gonna if you're gonna be grinding, best of luck. I will be. Oh, let's try. Let's hope this works in some way. If you're the grinding, good luck on your rolls. I um, I have no hope for getting it because I uh, I don't know. I got a lot of stuff to grind. I got a lot of gems to be getting, and uh, I just I'm just so sick of this game. There's no skip button. I'm just so sick of it. I'm sick of it. No, I'm not. But I am. Like I am, but I'm not. You know that feeling? It's kind of a weird feeling, but I am, but I'm not sick of it. Two feelings at the same time. It's crazy. Um, we need a lot of Electro. Omni, 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 Omni. No, I know I can sit down and grind, but god damn it, I don't wanna. I don't, I just don't want to. Uh, let's draw two. Maybe we get a sword. Didn't get a sword. If we got a sword, we wouldn't have killed him. Oh, and he gets a shield. Can I still kill him, please? Ah, there we can. Who else is getting a rerun? When? Like, next patch? If you, are you asking about next patch? Uh, next patch would be... Uh, it, well, it's Al Haytham's release. Uh, but it's high chance... Uh, from what I... From what I... No, no, sorry. It's guaranteed Hu Tao. I think Hu Tao has been pretty much confirmed. Uh, because next patch is also Lantern Rite for the Chinese New Year. There's also going to be a Zhao rerun. And as for the other character, because there's going to be four banners. Because uh, I think at the start it's uh, Al Haytham Hu Tao first phase. And then second phase is Zhao Shen He? I think? Or Zhao Ayaka? It's Zhao and then a Cryo character from my understanding. That's, uh, that's what I've gathered from all the information. It's Zhao, Al Haytham, Hu Tao, first phase, second phase, Zhao, some cryo character. And it's people speculate Shen He just because she hasn't been around since her launch, which was like a fucking millennia ago. She launched in 2.4, so her getting a rerun in her two point, in, in 3.4 makes a bit of sense. But it's been a long time, so she kind of does need a rerun. Silver, apologies, dude. So next patch, there is some pretty high value banners. Like Zhao is always a always a, a good choice. Hu Tao is always a good choice. Shen He, if it is her, not an overly amazing choice. She's like the the most niche five star character, to be quite frank. But still not a terrible choice if you really want to force a uh, a cryo team. She's actually like probably the best cryo support. She's a very specific. Uh, cryo support, so she's probably the best for that job. Uh, yeah, but she's also very hard and niche to use. And by difficult, it's just like her skill is kind of like just annoying, really. That's all it is. Her skill is just annoying. Uh, let's. That's not even Zhao, Ayato, Yula, main DPS pumper team. Let's go. Main DPS pumpers. Uh, we're going to do the weekly bosses, get the weekly challenges done, because we can get a singular dingular roll first and foremost. Eat some food. This one. I need to get uh, the, uh, the variant of this to get 20% crit damage as well. Yula? Bro, I hate this character. I hate this boss so much. I don't hate any boss as much as I hate this one. One phase. Uh, rata! One phase, dude. Oh. Easiest one phase of my life. Nothing. Terrible. I don't know who to pull for next. I don't know either. 
save for an Archon. I don't know, maybe that, that, that is always a good strategy. If I'm to give a strategies, that is 90% of the time always a good one. The Archons are never bad. Not a single one of the Archons has been bad to this point. They all have this very specific uses. Uh, and I believe the, the further we get into the game, the more universal the Archons are going to become. Essentially, treat the Archons like... Like, uh... Like the new characters coming in Honkai. The three new, Hershey, Truth, Origin, and Finality, right? Treat them like that. They're just going to be useful everywhere. Like, 90% of the time, they're just going to be useful everywhere. Especially when you combine them all, right? Imagine, like, for, for example, this team. Zhongli, Raiden Shogun, Nahida. That team right there, although none of them work fundamentally together, none of them are fundamentally made for each other, they work exceptionally well. So... You can always save for the next Archon after Raiden and continuously just try to get Archons. Or you can wait for the next new Archon, which is going to be the Hydra Archon, which is next year. So you can always just save for, you know... Oh, sorry, this year. I guess it is 2023. Um, but you can always save for that. Or you can just roll on whatever the hell you, you fancy, I guess. Back in my... Uh, when I was playing Genshin, uh, like, early days of Genshin, I think, like, patch 1 point something. I think it was, like, patch... When it, before Kazaha released and up to when Kazaha released, I had a, a theory, or I had a, I had a mentality when I was rolling. No matter what banner it was, no matter who it was, I would always put 10 rolls, or, or 10 to 20 rolls, depending on how I was feeling. I would always put 10 to 20 rolls every single banner, and I would put more rolls if I liked the character, right? I had this like kind of like little kind of mentality when I was playing Genshin early days. No matter what banner. 10 to 20 rolls, just to see what happens, right? 20, 10 to 20. And if something cool happens, if I get the character, oh, great. If I don't, eh, it is what it is. I didn't care either way. And it kind of gets you, like, has you, like, gartering just for a bit of fun. But it also has you, like, saving kind of tactically, I guess. Hey, friend, later, Mr. Ben, I'm going to try to get uh, my umbrella leveled up, so I need the Sumeru robot material. Yeah, man. Uh, what account? Just uh, which account issue? Depends on uh, when I can do it. Yeah, yeah. Asian? All good. You can jump on now if you're free, or you can do it whenever, yeah. Well, G, man. I actually got Neela when I was trying to save up. Well, that, that doesn't feel like you're actually saving then if you're spending, so. If you're actually, if, so in LA, I don't know if you know this, but if you spend, you're not technically saving, right? <laughs> bit of a bit of a mystery there, isn't it? But Neela is a fun one. I'll be honest with you. Although I don't use her because there's very specific reasons. I don't use her right now. In the future, though, I will most likely be using her, right? Um, but you can always try build Neela. She's a bit of an odd, odd one because you have to run her with a full Dendro team and or full uh, Hydro team. Oh, sorry, you have to you have to have a mixture of both, right? Oh, I didn't know she had that high high pitch of a voice in this. Yeah, the the very un, uh, bad part about Neela is that this right here is pretty much the comp you need to run. Honestly, just a mixture of Hydro and uh, Dendro. It's an unfortunate thing. Unfortunate, but it is how it is. I am very disappointed in this. And if you had a Nahida or, or have a Nahida, or if you end up getting Yao Yao next patch, this team comp could end up being really good. Uh, for many reasons, one of them just being that you need Dendra application. Or if you end up getting Al Haytham, I, mean, I don't want to influence you to roll on these characters because I don't re necessarily recommend Al Haytham. I don't think he'll be that fun. I think he's going to be powerful, but not super fun. So, but that's just my recommendation. Uh, what was I in the middle of doing weekly bosses? That's right. Uh, I recommend getting Yao Yao, but I believe she's free. I believe she's free from Lantern, right? Uh, I'm loading on right now. Join once it's loaded up. Yeah, old G, man. Old G. I'm just going to do my last uh, domain guy. Um, where was I? Yeah. Yao Yao, I believe, is free. So if you build your Nilo, and if you have, like, decent stuff, 
new artifact set, which is a uh, bloom damage specific. Chuck that on her. You'll be able to get some nifty auto kill damage because I'll try to showcase Nilo as best as I can here. I haven't used her in a hot minute, so. Oh yeah, I forgot he has like a hydro fucking counter mechanism. Whoops. I forgot he has that. My bad. Yeah, see, uh, you need to be able to do hydro damage here in in when you have this ring up. And if you have no method of dealing hydro damage, then it's gonna be an end of end of fail. It's hard to find materials in the stream room. Just launch up the um, the interactive map if you're able to. Interactive map helps a lot, especially the Sumeru one. The Sumeru one actually, uh, if you use the official Genshin Impact interactive map, the Sumeru area, they, it very much clearly outlines if something's above ground or if it's underground. There's a little marker that indicates it. So it's very helpful to use that one. Nice. This Nilo showcase is going crazy. Incredible. That Nilo showcase, incredible. Di bo two of my characters died. Mm, let's go, dude. Nilo's strong. I just have a sh just a terrible character for it. I needed an Ahita. I didn't get an Ahita. I, I maybe don't build Nilo unless you have an Ahita, I guess. Or you have a Yaya. -Ya. That's, uh, I guess, my, my final tip. <laughs> Let's uh, switch off this character, eh? Ugh, yikes. Yikes, eh? Uh, back to, who was it? The queen? The, the best character in the game? Yule. Official Bennett. Back to the best character. The other team is more Suicide Squad than the actual one. Well, that's until yeah, yeah. But you are on the right track. Uh, you you are correct that it it is definitely more Suicide Squad than the actual Suicide Squad. And it's uh it's not it's not amazing. But you know what what can you do? I w I wish they uh, it would be fine to be quite frank with you, if you could run other elements. They, I don't know, I, I didn't think it was going to be that big of a problem when it first came out about the character. But the fact that you can only kind of run uh, Dendro Hydro, it just kind of ruins everything. Just ruins everything. What did I come here for? I can't remember. Uh, anyway. Yeah, you're going to be the best. She will make her usable. I, more so than she is already, because that's the, the biggest problem. Is that you kind of need, like, yes and no, actually. I'm trying to think of it. It's like, you you kind of... Nilo is becoming just, like, the character who needs the nichest team available. Because, in theory, you... There's no... I'll say this kind of loosely. There's no amazing Hydra Applicator off-field. You have Yelan, you have Jing Cho. But with the level of Dendra Application that I think Yaya's going to bring, there's just not going to be that much... There's not going to be that many Hydra characters that can keep up, but maybe that's fine. I guess that's not really going to be a massive problem. I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to it, though. I'm looking forward to Yaya and getting, getting her and seeing what happens. But then again, maybe if I get Alhatham, I'll be able to... Uh... Maybe if I roll, I'll be able to get Alhatham and he'll be also a Dendro Applicator, right? Alhatham? What does Yaya bring? A uh, high Dendro Application, healing... And damage reduction to Dendro damage. So, so she's very, very specific to Nilo. Because what Nilo does uh, is Hydra application. Uh, she needs Bloom. 
Like, the only way you can use Nilo is through Bloom. And specific to Nilo is Bloom does... Uh, Bloom reactions damage the player. So... Um... Well, I think it's just Bloom reactions in general damage the player. So... You kind of... Need... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I need to join your donut tissue, my bad. Um... It's it's pretty bad how they release Nilo because right now, like at this current moment, the only comp that you can use for Nilo is Nahida, Nilo, Kokomi, and then some other Hydro character. That's like right now, the only thing that works. If you use anything else, it like like we tried to use, um, oh I tried to use sorry uh, that team didn't work. Because you just don't have any healing. Uh, don't have any sustain. Don't have any application. It's just terrible. Why is it that the danger damage onto player is green color? What do you mean? In my mind it always feels like I was being healed. Uh, that's a fair point. Uh, that, that is a fair point. But it's a slightly different green and it's a slightly different size of number. From what I remember, like, it's very hard. And it's also, I don't actually see the numbers that pop up on me, to be honest with you. I don't really see them. Uh, what are we doing, Tissue? I don't, I don't, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just gonna follow you. Um, but I can see the complaint though. That does make sense. The only difference would be that one of them has a plus sign next to it, whilst the other doesn't. So the 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 damage being dealt would have no plus, and it would just be a number, whilst healing has a plus sign next to it, and usually more particle effects. That would be the only difference. So I guess if you don't pay attention for those things, then it be it can be quite um quite bad. Huh. Damn, I might roll an Al Haytham's banner just to get like potentially an Al Haytham. That could be kind of interesting. Nah, nah, never mind, I won't. I was, gonna, I was gonna? Nah. Um, I think we gamers think when we see green number, it's healing. Uh, I... Not really. It, it really depends on what games you play, I would say. Because I, when I say green, I also think of poison, corrosion, rotting. Because I've played World of Warcraft, other MMOs, as well as like something like a Warframe. I'm not being tempted by the Haytham tissue, to be quite frank with you. I'm just kind of chilling. Yeah, I, t I was tempted for a second, but I, in the end, I'm just like, nah. Uh, but yeah, when I say green, I kind of think not instantly healing. I think more so like, other damaging factors, and then if I see a plus sign, or my HP going up, then I see, then I think healing. I guess maybe that's just because I might play a larger variety of games, or just these games that have specifically green effects. Uh, is there... There should be another one, yeah. I think a purple when it's poison? No, that's fair. Green, uh, green would be, I guess, Venom, but it's kind of in the same line. Green and purple is generally poison to me, also, or corrosive, or something like that, so, yeah. The only, I guess, the, the biggest, uh, differentiating, like, indicator is the fact that, um... I have no idea where I'm going to shoot. Is the fact that usually healing is accompanied by a particle effect around the player. 
that that would be the the, the biggest uh, difference is when you're damaged, you get a specific particle effect, and then healing is a different one. Usually, plus signs is healing, and then poisoning, let's say, or getting poisoned is like the bubbles, little circular circular bubbles. Uh, but I guess that's again very specific thing, so. Oh, my bad, Tissue. I had no idea. I have no idea where we're going. I only uh, know a handful of these farming spots. So you lead the way. You lead the way. Yeah, that that, that raises, a, raises a, a good question, though. I, I do think that the, the, the dendro particle effect... Not the particle effect, sorry. The, the dendro damage effect is a odd color. It's, it is too poppy. If it was a bit more murky, if it was like a deep green, although it would be a worse color, it would be better for uh, knowledge and, and information because differentiating healing and damage would be a lot easier. So I guess that is a valid point. I just never really thought about it that way just because I never did really. I don't run healers. I always run Zhongli, so I don't really ever think about myself getting healed. Nor do I think about getting damaged as Zhongli, so yeah, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Damn, look at all these chests that are just primo gems, but I just can't be asked to get them. That's crazy. There we go. A dark green is better for self damage. Just in general, make Dendro a darker green, I'd say. Uh, a, 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 in general, a, a darker dendro would be better. There's no reason to have it so bright. There's no pros, there's no cons to having it super bright or super dark. The only pro... The, the pro to making it uh, not so dark... Oh, sorry, not so bright is that it doesn't... Co like, uh... Doesn't collude or... Co sorry, collide in terms of color with, um... The healing. Sorry, I had a mind blank again. I've been having a lot of these mind blanks. Damn, I should probably explore this desert place, eh? How do I do this again? Fuck. Might as well whilst I'm here, eh? If I can even fucking find the entrance. Alright, we're in. Nope, that's a wall. Alright, we're in. No. Have I already done this? I'm dead. I'm lost. Yeah, there's a reason I don't do these fucking puzzles. Anyway, uh, keep taking it. Where are you going, Tissue? Where are you? Now, nah, don't worry about the puzzle. I'll fucking do it another. I'll do it next year or some shit when I need the gems. Uh, you know what? I don't use Cryonamo and Dendro almost the entire time, and it feels alien when I see their elemental color damage pop up. Um. My goodness. Oh yeah, it's because I, I still haven't done this quest that I've got this fucking effect. I was like, what the fuck's happening? Uh, mix of light blue to green. It is... Uh, yeah, I can't relate. I, I use those elements quite often. But fair enough. I can see why it would be. It's... Uh, they're, the, they're more obscure ones, to be honest with you. Uh, Cryo is actually quite good, I'd say. But Animo is quite the obscure one. 
But yeah, they did it with Animo though. Like Animo and, and uh, the reason Animo is like pretty alright is because the healing color is so different to um to Animo. So I don't know why they made Dendro pretty much the same thing. It kind of feels redundant. I had the same feeling when I used for, first used Dendro. I think everyone did, to be honest. I think everyone when when Dendro was first really healed, everyone was like, "Oh, this is a bit of a ooh." That, that, this color's a bit wonky donkey. So, man, in the end, nobody really... Well, it's not that people don't like Dendro. It's just that, yeah, it is definitely the more obscure color. It, it collides. Uh, I believe there's like one somewhere over here. Yep. It's color weird. Yeah. And hey, what are you gonna do? It's not gonna get changed, so. Something you gotta get used to. Or just not use Dendro, really. It is possible, if uh, for those who may not believe that it's it's like oh you must use Dendro because it's the Dendro Abyss. No, nah, it's very possible to do the the Abyss even without Dendro and whatnot. It's just, it's just very you could just kind of need a bit stronger characters in in the general kind of regard. Oh, we don't need the underground one? Then over here, this should the left, far left one is right. Guess I'm not used to it yet. Yeah, right, time will tell. Time time will tell and time will teach you and, and that's about it. That's all it really is with all of Genshin, to be quite frank. Uh, in the in the grand scheme of things, it also comes down to, like, just knowing if you, are sh if you should be getting a heal or if you shouldn't be getting a heal. That's how I do it. Is... I think to myself, have I popped a heal recently? No? Okay, then that's damage. That kind of goes through my head. Like, you know, if I if I don't have like a Barbara thing on, if I don't have a Coke Me thing on or whatever, a passive heal, then I'm just thinking, well, I haven't popped anything, so I shouldn't be getting healed. Hmm. You said that never no elements had this problem before, but yeah, maybe maybe that's what happens when you don't have all seven elements available uh, to the player from the start of the game. I have not used a healer for months because you don't need to when you have Zhongli. I only use one healer, and that's because I need one for the second team in Spiral Abyss. If you have a Zhongli, you don't need a healer. It's the mo biggest unnecessary, like, thing in the game. Um, I can't remember if there's any more after this. Uh, I will just wander around. Like, I, and even in that healer in the, uh, the second team of Spiral Abyss is just a gene dealing damage. I actually, yeah, up here, Tissue, this place has some. The, uh, the top right of the sandy place, the, 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 the temple. Never mind, uh, we have, oh, I haven't. No, there's still some here. There's still some here. I just haven't done this quest. I should probably do it. Um, 
I think we can still get these specific spawns to the side. I think so. Uh, I, I can... Oh, God, I'm going to dread doing this because I have to do all the puzzles again. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to! Oh. But it would be giving me so many gems. Oh, it would be so many gems. Yeah, the guys have spawned here. Fuck, dude. Oh, dude. So... I don't want to do it. Ninety-one thousand non-crit. What the fuck? Why is it so low? What? What do I mean, so low? It, bro, it is low. Ninety-one non-crit. That's cringe. Um, I think some spawn on the other side. I think. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. <sighs> oh, there's the guys here. I just remembered. You just remembered that, uh... I healed out of nowhere yesterday. Probably a, a buff on the character, I'll be honest with you. Are Maybe it was some food you had. Actually, there's no dot food in the game, so... There's no dot food, so uh, I have no idea. Maybe you had like a debuff or a buff or something on your character that allowed you to do it. I'm not sure. I've never healed out of nowhere. Yeah, I don't think any spawn here, Tissue. I think none of them spawn here. They spawn here after I do the quest. My bad, my bad. Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, do you know any more specific spawn locations? Oh! Because uh, if not, i got some gem hunting to do, dude. We can do this quest and probably get, like, juicy, juicy gems. Do I have enough for a roller right now? Nah. Oh. Dude, what the hell? My mind points Jing Cho? Probably. Probably. He, his burst or his, uh, his shield thingies have a chance to, or not a chance, sorry. They do heal you. After you do a certain thing, so it probably is him. He's usually the main contributor to confusion in a lot of teams, because he also he has damage reduction. Um, he has damage reduction. Uh, goddamn healing, damage, just a lot, of, a lot of stuff. Let's try my damage with superconduct and Benny. I already know my damage. It's fucking crazy. Two hundred eighty-two thousand. No enemy can live through my Eula. Not a single man. Men have tried, and they failed. Many men have tried to live through my damage. None have lived the tell the tale. So, uh, yeah. No more enemies, enemies on the no notebook? I right, bet. No worries, you're sure. Good man. Hey. Yep. 
All right, well, let's get to level 40 on the battle pass. That would give us a singular roll. And then we'll do... Oh, fuck, I need to do the, the first story for Sumeru to unlock the Sumeru de uh, requests and bounties to then start leveling that up to then get the fucking compass, which I won't get in any way. Um, fuck, man, but I don't want to do that. I just don't want to, do I? I need to say we'll call. Uh, do, 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 I love playing on Super High Ping. I love this game. I love the fact that Australia isn't a country in Mahoyo's eyes. It's my favorite part about living in Australia. Australia doesn't exist. Okay, how do I get two easy levels? I think I need to go to the Serena Teapot. I guess I haven't taken... I don't take these things regardless of time or week or whatever, but yeah. Konodo ten. Realm Depot. Take this. Trust rank has reached 10, so furnishes have... Uh, Alright, cheers game for telling me. Ooh, nature's true fruit. Consumable. Uh, sure. I thought it was going to be something useful. But it's just a hot piece of fucking dog shit. Dog shit, dude. Uh, that's not important. Okay, thanks, Tubby. Is this level... Ah! Requests, bounties. I don't want to do them until it's this summer. So, uh... This gives four. Hey, maybe we won't get there. Maybe we won't get there, eh? Uh, Golden Slumber. Where is it, eh? Where's the Golden Slumber, dude? Ha ha ha, dude. This one gives pretty good gemage, so we're gonna go do it. We did our daily, uh, or our weekly stuff in, in the place, in the, uh, what's it called? The tavern, the, the, the TCG. I guess we'll go farm this quest out. This this quest should give us like I don't know, like six hundred plus gems. I think, I can't remember. Bro, where are the New Year rewards from Mahoya right now? You know, that's what I've just noticed. I just noticed that. Mahoyo ain't giving out any New Year rewards. Dude, I've been playing your game for six months and you ain't gonna reward me, dude. I'm quitting. Nah, I'm not, but it would be nice. You know, a, a juicy 10 roll in the fucking thing. Like, Nikkei Goddess of Victory has given out, has given out 10 rolls so far in two days. Come on. Day two? Are they gonna do like seven days of this or some shit, dude? Come on. I, I, did I use those rolls? I don't think so. But I did do another 10 roll today and got... So I got someone. I got like a constellation for my uh, Julia. I now got a two-star Julia. I thought I'd just share that information. Did another 10. I got a, a two-star Julia now. So that means one step closer to now having a one character that can, I can get to level 200. Lantern Rite is their new year, I think. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care, dude. Do you know what? Honkai does New Year. So that's clearly not a concern for Mahoyo. Honkai celebrates the New Year on the New Year, of, or like the turning of a New Year. So, Mahoyo, bit, bit idiot. Bit, bit idiot times. Actually, well, they don't necessarily celebrate it, but they did a live stream for it, so they, they care about it in some way. Bam. If we don't if we don't get some juicy rewards for Lantern, right? 
If I don't get like at least 50 rolls for Lantern right, dude, cringe company. And I'll stand by this. Nani? Oh, incredible. Look at that. Bro, what the fuck is this bird doing? What the bird doing? I'll do the Dendroculus another year. I think it'll take me another two years to get this count caught up to speed. This shit's monotonous as fuck. Bro, where are we going? The Oasis. Wow. Wow. This zone looks incredible. Oh my god, next patch we're going into that dust storm over there. I don't know if you guys knew that. That's where we're going next patch, is that fucking dust storm. That's the next playable area. Natch to goal. Oh, this was a good quest, I remember. Jet and what's his name? Aman? Oh no, Jabriel. <sighs> no idea? You didn't? Ah uh, yeah, it's good. I think it's gonna be there. I mean, it's called like the the fucking storm of fucking some some sort of storm. What's up with the dust storm? Ah, oh, it's just a storm, innit? Like like a storm when the storm hits the waves, the waves call back, and that's why. Hola, <sighs> Levi. It's intense gameplay here, Levi. How you going, Levi? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're, uh... Hope it's been a day. Of goodness. I'm gonna give you the most odd introduction and hello to you. Levi is a bit of a shmevi. I, I want everyone to know that. Why is it just so suddenly so silent? Where is the atmosphere, please? I'm gonna bang my fucking table. There we go. Is that is that Jim Gems? Oh. 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 Uh, regardless though, hey Levi, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day. Um, you've joined us here as we're playing some. I don't know if you know this game. I don't. I don't. I don't know if you love Genshin Impact, but yeah, we're playing Genshin Impact right now. We're just doing a bit of grinding. Right? Now, if you could just uh, humbly say you love Genshin Impact just, just for the sake of positivity, that would be astounding. I don't know if you love it, though. Does everyone love Genshin Impact? Does everyone love this game? Ah. That's funny. That's very funny. Uh, any chestos? My chesto friend or? I love Genshin Impact. Well, we all love Genshin Impact here, because we're all playing it and we're all watching it. Yula, a great Genshin Impact woman. Um, Zhong Li, a great Genshin Impact man. All the other ones, okay. Gen, wow. 
No other impact comes close. <laughs> is that a dendro? Yeah, it is, okay. There should be another one somewhere. I think it's underground, actually. Never mind. Go to the Kaj knee suit. Search for the Kaj knee suit. Wow. It's not here. More dialogue. Natched Gold gave me some invigorating advice. He told me that if I close my eyes and count to five, I will shit bricks. I love Genshin Impact to the point of me watching and playing it simultaneously. Honestly, I think Levi and Tissue are doing the exact same thing. They have both launched up their, their 60 FPS capped video game and are both playing it simultaneously as watching me. That's incredible! Imagine not having all your Dendroculus. <laughs> Levi, I, Levi, you don't even know what a Dendroculus is. I'll be honest with you. Who is Zhongli, Levi? Tell me that. Knew it. I actually have it at 30 FPS because I hate myself. Listen, well, that's unfortunate. Because the 60 FPS cap for uh, Genshin is really good. Like, it's really good. Like, I love 60 frames. No higher, no lower. 60 frames just gets my juices flowing. Search for clues. Uh, what am I meant to do here again? I can't remember. That. It's too much power? No, no, no. I think some would actually argue it's not enough. Like, actually, I, I, I'm going to hit you with that one, issue. I just think some people would argue it's not enough power. Like, some people, usually in the year 2023 that we are in right now, would think that 120 is okay, you know? Uh, not me though, I'm a bit of a 12 FPS Andy, dude. I'm a, a one, bro, I could play on one. A slideshow performance, dude, get me in. A slideshow performance of this game? I honestly, I'm all in, dude. I love slideshows. Some people, is that, Jabril is getting angry. I mean, Tirazad, Tiramisu. Uh, pass the three trials. Fuck, hey. Well, that's one. That's one, Neon. Holy crap. More power. I need at least 240 FPS for this game to run properly. Tiramisu and yawning. Listen, they go hand in hand. If I say Tiramisu, I yawn. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I would never, I would never yawn. I've never yawned in my life. If you see me yawn, it's not me. Bro, is this the one with the platform? It is. yawning I'm gonna need or like 75 clips of me yawning because I just I did not do that it's just it's just it's just false information spreading you're, you're spreading false information uh, I I would I would literally have never I would never what's this my god I got money Money got fucking money in it. Oh, 
Oh, there's a dendroculus. You've changed? Bro, I woke up at like midday. What do you want from me? I literally woke up at the ass crack of midday and I'm, I'm tired. What do you want from me? I don't have the luxury of waking up on time, dude. I'm a chronic snoozer. Like, give me a break. Chronic snooze fest in my head. Please. If I could wake up on time, I would, but I it's literally, you could, like, sound a fucking air horn into my fucking, like, uh, ocular category or whatever the fuck it's called. Or your, my, my vesticular fucking, I don't know. And I wouldn't wake up. That's why you. <laughs> That's why you mid performance right now. Sorry, bro. I've got. I literally. I've done a ninety one k non crit. What do you mean mid performance? Bro, that's that's fucking supreme fucking performance. Look at this. Look at this. Well, bam, a juicy twenty six. Bro, you've never seen someone so large. You just said it's sucky. Yeah, by my standards, but by general people's standards, it's pretty good. You know there are some players out there who can't even crit for like 50k? You know those players out there who have never crit for 50k, dude? They still don't have the achievement for it. Do you know, do you know those people out there like that? Not me. You won't find me lacking. You won't catch me lacking like that, dude. I'm just saying it. I'm just saying. No matter what damage I do, it's always a billion. Two hundred and forty-seven, dude. Just, just snooze fest of a game. Any, bro, any chests? How many gems do we have? We haven't gained a single one. Oh, I just want gems, man. Sometimes I feel like my Mahoyo should just give their gems. Give me the dupes. Nah, I'm just being greedy. Oh, oh. oh my god, another one. That's crazy. Bro, this game really does put you to sleep. You know what's you know what, what we're missing? Just the the peaceful music in the back as well, just so I can actually take a nap. That's what we're missing. Nice, nice background to sleep music. I'm ready for a good old bedtime. I say that as I'm gonna play Genshin for the next few hours, and then probably play other games for the next few hours, and then uh, probably do like maybe a video or some. And then, uh, we'll just chill around playing video games again for a few hours. For the next few hours. Oh my god, so many Dendroculus, what the hell? <gasps> bum ba dum bum ba dum Um... Well, there you go. Incredible speed, incredible speed. Okay, wait, what do we do here? I need another one of the things. Can I walk through here? Is this a wall? It's a wall. Ba ba bum 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 ba dum bum bum bum. Sure. 
sure, why not? Don't think that's quite how it works, but... Bum 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 Look at that! It's a lot of damage! Uh, what's behind here? I need a key. Oh, it's this place. I forgot how this place works. We need like a. We get a keystone from this chest. Excuse me, sir. Please stop doing that. As I put it in here, now that's keystone two. Uh, oh, it might be this one. Here's a Dendroculus here. Yosh. Spatsuda. Sometimes I feel like I'm Japanese. I just think my my pronunciation of these words. Yosh. Spatsuda. Oh, that lights up that thingy. Not necessarily sure why. Yosh. Spatsuda? Chuck that in there. Finish the TCG tutorial. Now the grind starts. Now the grind starts, dude. You got about like seven years of grinding ahead of you. A book and a book in. Um. Nah, not seven years. We got a fair bit of grinding. There's a bit of grind there, but hey, dude, I got some videos up about that game. Not any guides or decks, but I got some. I got some fucking videos up on that bad boy. It's quite fun, I'd say. There should be a fucking dendro boy here somewhere, right? What? Oh, am I blind? Maybe it's on another level. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's here somewhere. Ah, uh, it is in this room, isn't it? Yeah, fucking... And there's another one somewhere. Is it in this room? Incredible. Bro, why are there people here? Find a way to Kaj knee suit. I'm trying. Oh, now we go up. Oh, I see. Now we go up. Bokin that bokin. Open the way. Whoa! That's incredible! Does that give me gems? Can I do a roll? Fuck, bro! What? <laughs> I just want the gems. Oh. Yeah, there's some guys here, Tissue. I'm just gonna smoke them, eh? I'm gonna uh, smoke them. In honor of you, even though you won't get the items, I'm doing it in honor of you. Don't you worry, I got you.
Happy and sad at the same time? Yeah, I can, I can see why. But don't worry, they died. They did, they did hit the hay. Died in the six feet under, in the dirt, underground, dead. No more. Zero. So it's an overall W in my opinion. Dun 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 Oh, come on, come on, go, 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 go! This quest is so long, I hate dialogue in Genshin, I hate it. Listen, I'm all about speed, and this game does the opposite of speed. It, it literally hits you with the slow. Just the perpetual one mile per decade. Where am I? Dendroculus acquired. This game is a one mile per decade kind of game. Activate this. Okay. We juiced it. Uh, talk to Jabriel. Uh, release the spirit. Go in, a chest appears. Surely. Sure, I did, I did something. Okay, that's one hitting of the whip. Honestly, I probably should be running that traveler guy to get his uh, friendship up. But you know, you know, there's that there's a classic saying called "absolutely fucking no way." Alright, did it. That's kind of scary. Cool. And then this one goes down, eh? Goes a bit down, eh? Activate. Go, 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 go. We're losing it. We're losing it! Slowest elevator known to mankind. Bro, we need like a, a top-down isometric... POE styled Genshin Impact video game. You know, that would be so pog. If I could play Path of Exiles and Genshin Impact at the same time as one game, that would be absolutely cool. Or, or we need like an, a Genshin Impact FPS. We need like a competitive shooter of Genshin Impact where I can be Zhongli chucking fucking steel rods at people. I mean, there can be other characters like. 
other there could be other characters that do their thing, but mainly Zhongli throwing steals, steelies at, at at players. That'd be and you impale them and they they literally combust in a ball of fire. I think that'd be epic. What's happening? Hmm, we did it. We did it. Nice. Go to the Kaj knee suit. No, I think that idea is pretty good, Tissue. I don't know. I, don't, I, I, I hope you also understand that it is a banging idea. I don't know what about it. It just screams good. But yeah, I just think Zhongli throwing steelies, impaling all the other characters uh, to the wall. Just kind of... Yeah, there's something about it. Jump and glide. Go. Jump and glide. Oh, this puzzle. I totally forgot how to fucking do it. Oh, we need to, like, uh... Switch? I have to watch this animation, like, every single time. Okay, that's that lowered, that lowered, that lowered. Now we need to do something with this one. Switch. Uh, that was a lot of... That was gonna come out as... Okay, operate. And that thing gets blocked, and that thing gets blocked, and that thing's there. And then we switch it again, and then we go, uh, USA. And that one's gonna go down. It's, boom, it's, boom, it's, boom, it's, boom. it's done. Okay. Empire will fire the enemy's witches. Well, yeah, Lisa's a witch. Uh, Senora's a witch. There's many witches in this game, and they're the main enemies we're fighting, right? Like, it's, we can call it Genshin shooting simulator because you hate the characters game 2023 edition you know what i mean and what you do is right you just instant instant lock zhongli right there's only one character but you instant lock him regardless boom and then you just have a, a steelies just throwing steelies whoosh oh, i'm gonna die oh and yeah you're just impaling him i think that'd be a pog I think that'd be really cool. Like on a scale of cool or super cool, it'd be really cool. Surely there's a chest here, if I remember correctly, right? There should be a chest. Jabriel. Okay, I suppose. I just think it'd be. I just think it'd be kind of funny, you know. I just want another game from Ahoyo so I can stop playing against you, but you know what I mean? Oh. No, I don't. I don't. But you know what I mean? Like, if it did happen, Samael, Jabriel, are you still refuse to admit you, you are thutmost, you are a thutmost deep down. Self-deceiving makes no difference to the people like us. Alright, uh, this had good lore in it. Little Jet, do you see now? Once he laid eyes on Alamo's throne, your dear father forgot everything, even you. Oh yeah, listen, we're not gonna get into this lore, it's kinda sad, I know, but... <sighs> Kaj suit, Jabriel, Samael, Samael. Uh, and the Golden Slumber. King Deshret going to sleep for eternity. I wish this was voice, dude. They kind of messed up. I, I want these guys to be voiced, dude. They messed up with this quest so bad. Same with the r, &R dude. r, &R quest is garbage because it's not voiced. It's dog shit. Absolute dog shit. Jabriel recites the song he sang softly at the night in the oasis. Jabriel? Why? Get ready. He nods at me. As we're about to enter combat. Oh, stars high above the wasteland. Ha! <laughs> I see. They done messed up when they never gave r and request voice lines. If they did, then I'm going to go to the best. Nah, this one's way better. Aranara Arashmara, dude. Jabriel and Jet all the way. That's just what I'm saying. Arashmara. But regardless, both of them would be fucking the goats of quests in Genshin. 
If both of them have got voiced, the best quest in Genshin, easy. Tenri Choku. Is Allah Amaz going away to send his believers into eternal sleep? That makes it more terrifying than I ever imagined. I have so many questions. No, I don't. Urifare, Ufairfar, made this inference about Al Arkhma's promise. No one can move freely. I must admit that it was a risky gamble. That's right, everyone's safe, and that's the most important thing. Let me summarize the overall situation. The juicer is done for, and the juice has been swept under the rug, and that's why we shall run away. That's fine, Jet. I'm willing to accompany you wherever you go. As for, I'm telling, I'll, I'll tell you about her if you're willing to listen. That's her research notes. Does anyone feel like something's wrong? Oh my god, it's the wall of death. Is it Samael? Or oh no, if he gained al has whispers, then he's, even if it's just for an instant, he would be able to kill us all. Run away. Run, run, run. I forgot about this wall. Rama died of fucking fall damage. Oh no, it's coming from the ceiling. Anyway, nap time for me. Dude, imagine napping on a Monday afternoon on a hot day. Um, instead of playing Genshin back for five hours straight, dude, what the hell? There's no time to lose. I promise to keep you safe until the end. I can't let you all die here. What? I promise to keep you safe. He enters the dream world. What is this place? Jabriel, you're here. I knew it, I knew it. We are the twin blades of Thutmose. Our lives dedicated to uncovering the seas of the golden slumber. You took a long way around, but it doesn't matter anymore. We've met again here at the end of that path. We were just lost before, but the sands of the Thutmose always return before al Ahmar's throne. Like the dehydrated thirst for a spring, only the illusion of the eternal oasis can relieve our agony. I'm inside the golden slumber? Oh, you are not us yet. It's fine. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, adieu. Adieu to you too. Alarha's will is our will. Blah, 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 blah. You're the one who's lost their mind, Samael. Not me. The golden slumber that Al Ahmar promised to us isn't like this. Yet you, the warmth of another, I despise such feelings. It makes you weak. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jabriel, sleep. Father. His body has disappeared. He's not coming back, Jet. This can't be. I refuse to believe it. He always keeps his promise. He promised me to tell me about my mother. All you heard him. He wouldn't lie to me. He never lies to me. I refuse to yield. Jet is right. I'm a man of my word. I promise to protect them until the end. Ah, your ties to the mundane inhibit you. Just like that infection, I just have to eliminate them. The door is open. It must be Jabriel. It's still shaking. Jet, it's dangerous here. We can't stay, or else his sacrifice would mean nothing. Leave if you want. Father will come back. He'll be so sad if he couldn't find me when he wakes up. I won't leave him. How foolish. Finally, I get a Samael. You're right. There'll be, there'll be no me, only us. But you're not the only one who can decide our will. You can't be serious. The twin blades of Thutmose are equal, so die here with me. You'll have to go on alone from now. I'm not sure you have a Some, some. Why couldn't I have told you? Ah, sorry. Sorry. Arigato samasu. The door is closed again. Thank goodness we made it out in time. Jabriel protected us, but he. Father. No. It must be Jabriel who opened the door. Without him, we would have died. He fulfilled his promise. This place may not be completely safe. Let's meet up at Natchigal's group and head to the Aru village. A man sacrificed himself to save his daughter. Incredible performance. If only voices were present and I didn't have to roleplay. Uh, nobody like me doesn't have many lives. They believe Tirazard must record everything in the great scripture and for the stone slate. Some, 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 some. 
father said he hoped we could meet her again in the internal oasis. He said that one day, or that it was still very, very far away, he liar. He lied to me and to my mother. He should keep his promise. Now I have to fulfill it for him and take his axe and mother's research notes, which he kept with his luggage to the eternal oasis. I hope they'll find true peace there. All right. Jet, you're probably like the, the character with the most um, depth in this whole fucking show. This whole anime. What, what is this, a game? Yeah, Jet, you're not even voiced, but you're the mo character with the most depth. Incredible. Incredible how that happens. 50 juices! Oh, boys, we got a single roll. Single roll! Here it is. Oh, Ryder right Shogun! Oh. Damn, you always gotta hype it up. And always I have to end up disappointed because this game is uh, garbage. Oh, dude. Oh. Um, go to the land of the Dendro Archon. We probably should do that. We still have a lot of Aranara quests to do, though, so we're going to finish those. If we finish the, all of the Aranara quests, we'll be able to get it, like, I don't know, two more rolls, I think. Two, three more rolls. And then plus I have some... Dendro things, Dendroculus. And once we unlock the cabbage, we should be able to get a fair few because... Well, actually, should... Would be? Hello, one second. Hello. Hello. Hold on. Oh, we have 198. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's juicy. That's juicy. Oh, there's another Dendroculus. I'm assuming it's safe to just drop down. Oh, no, don't hit that branch. It wasn't safe. Uh, where are we going? This way? Bro, what is, what is you doing? This game is fucking dog shit. This game is fucking dog shit, dude. Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, we have a domain here. Oh, that will also give us some gems. Let's hurry up and clear the spores, and and we clean up the Yisna Yat Monument thing. Um, how do you do this again? Oh, you just have to press F on it. My bad. I'm out here thinking it's some sort of a uh, mechanism. And then he runs away like an absolute PUSSY! He runs away at the speed of sound as well. Oh, there's a lot of guys here. This man keeps on running away. Not really liking this. 
not really like on this guy. Is this a chest or something? Ah, there is a chest up there. Need a dendro character! I hate this game. No, I don't, but it could be better. Uh, dendro character, this one. Bam. That's not that chest. What? Oh, you know what? Fair enough. I probably don't need that chest. Oh, that's the domain. I like it when, uh, when t to open a door, you need to go across the map. Generally speaking, that is, uh, my favorite mechanism. Hey, have you ever wanted to open a door? Well, actually, just go away from the door and you'll be able to open it. Usually how it goes. Um. Boom, 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 ba boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Then, what do I shoot? Who do I shoot? We got it. Bum, bum, ba da 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 how many does this actually give? 40! Oh, that's, we'll, we'll come back because we now got the waypoint. We'll come back and do that. Finish this quest. This gives us another 50. That gives us 40. That's 90. Oh my god, we're juicing. It was no trouble at all, Mr. Guy with the hat. Small men. Um, Ara Pandu and Ara Sam. Ara Ara. Oh. Tree in it. Ah, yes, this unlocks the weather control. I remember now. You can now control the weather for the, uh, for the little water thing up top. Do you want to have water or do you not want to have water? That is the question. Cool. Quest done. Gems claimed. <laughs> Go through all these tutorials really quickly. Get an extra how many? 18! Puts us at 87. Now we go do this domain really quickly. That will give us a few more. 50 or 40. Puts us at 127. And then we just need another 40 or so. Just need another 30, 33 roller. And we're juicing for another roll. I could save up for a tenner. But there's just something about singular dingulars. Oh, but maybe we could save... Maybe if we saved up for a tenner, that would be absolutely epic. Um, what do I do here again? Jump, apparently. I have a bow character. 
Take that. Um. That's that one. I see, I remember now. I think I remember. And then we have to follow this thing back until... Yeah, yeah, we have to follow this thing back until the circle. What's the Majiga? Okay, there we are. There we go. Actually, I think we get more than 40. 40 is just from the completion of the domain. There's going to be a chest here as well. And we also got that one chest. Never mind, there is a, a few more than 40. I think it's a total of 50. And we go, oh yeah, we'll get, yep, 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 yep. Is that a, how, what is that, 201? 210? Something like that. Or is it 20? Oh, I know, it's 10. Puts us at 139. We need a whopping 21. And you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna save for a 10. I think we, we can. We've got, a, we've got a lot of things we can do. We've got a lot of things we can do. Um, Head to the garden. Cared for the Arancula. Do we have to complete all of the fucking adventures with these fucking- Oh, we do. We have to complete every quest known to humankind. I don't- And I have unlocked the capskim or whatever it is. a cabbage potato thing. Hmm. Okay. Bum. 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 Head to the garden, cared for the Aranakula. Aranak, Aranak, Aranakula. Alright, what's up, boys? Oh my god, it's getting quite blue outside. Comment their beauty? No. I'd rather not. I'd rather sit here with a skip button, please. I don't know why they don't add one. Huh. What did I see recently that's also coming out on Monday? Oh, sorry, on uh, on 5th. Something else is happening on the 5th. Right, Eversol is launching. I saw a, an announcement. Oh, I saw an announcement. Goblin Slayer Season 2 information is uh, coming out on the on the 5th of January here. A lot of people aren't, haven't received this overly well. A lot of people are kind of not not really vibing with Deem, uh, uh, just Goblin Slayer. A lot of people are, people are just kind of dissatisfied with the thing, apparently. 
I, on the other hand, kind of interested. Kind of interested. 20 jemmies. Uh, yes, we have to now... this thing uh oh how i i think all these mean it's done finally finished the tcg quest it is quite a long one yes it is quite indeed long completed we just did that one we did that one we haven't done this one This oh this one's fucking insanely long. Oh fuck. This one's so long. But now you've unlocked the TCG. You got, honestly, the leveling stuff gives you a lot of gems and the achievements also give you a lot of gems, so it's not too bad. In regards to gem gem gain. Got a roll and nothing? Hey, well, same. We're in the same boat, but we're saving for a tenner now, so... Um, I think with the amount of quests that I'm going to pump out, I'm going to save for a tenner. And then in that tenner, there's going to be five Raiden Shoguns. Guaranteed. Money back guarantee. This is going to take me a fair while to get ten rolls. It would actually take me a while if I had a skip button, but... Mint is different. Is it because Marama is harming the forest? Maybe. We'll help you. That's right, we're here to help. Yes, we are. I'm here to help you. Hilinara. Thank you, everyone. Let's go. I want to save till I got a ten roll, but my brain says no. Oh, my brain is definitely not saying yes. I'll be honest with you. My brain is also telling me no, but but. Willpower is overturning that no. And uh, we're gonna do it. We gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta power through. If I don't, then it was all for nothing. And by all for nothing, I mean... It's just, it's just, I think it's just better to see a 10 in it. I don't do singular rolls in any other game except Genshin. So let's let's change that now. Now we're never single rolling in Genshin ever again. That's a lie, I'm gonna do it eventually. Oh wow, is that a Dandraculus? Wow! What? Oh yeah, you have to be a fucking tall character in this game. What? Oh, the Electro Juices wore off. There we go. Damp. Um. Okay. Mm, am I? I'm probably walking past a lot of chests to be quite frank. Yeah, there's a bunch down there.
But I do not care. Well, we'll do eventually. Maybe, should I stream Genshin more this week? Maybe try, like, I, if I really sat down, I'd maybe even be able to get myself an, a, a guaranteed 5-star. And maybe get an actual Raiden Shogun if I actually cared enough. But I could stream this a lot more. And just uh, do the, the the thing that I usually do sometimes is... Uh, usually do sometimes. That's not how you say that. The thing that I do sometimes, and it's uh, just kind of go through all the content in the game. Like all the interactive map. How long is one hangout event? Uh, going you through it with the guide or without a guide? Because with with a guide, you can probably get one hangout event done in an hour and a half. Hour. May oh well, no, that's a uh, like four. Uh, no, 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 that's way too much. 40, 30 to forty-five minutes, actually, probably. If you're skipping every single bit of dialogue and you're choosing the correct answers every single time for each different line that you have to go down, probably like a 30 to 45 minute kind of thing, I'd say. I haven't done one in a long time because they haven't added one for about like know, eight patches now. But um, it's, it's not super long. But if you're doing it like, let's say you're for your first time just kind of going in blind, it's probably going to take you a fair while because they are quite... Convoluted. Yeah, I think an hour and a half was an overshot by a long way. Uh, hour. Yeah, it's, it's like 30 to 40. That's why I stopped doing them as well. Like most, I think I haven't done Hazo's one and the person before Hazo. Cause not that I think that hangouts should add lore, but like none of the hangouts are interesting. You just kind of walk around with the character talking about like fucking absolute random shit. It, it does not, it, I guess it is like, it literally is what the thing it describes. It's a hangout where you hang out with the character. But I don't know, I just feel like it should still have some semblance of a story. Like, I don't actually want to hang out with the character. I want to see what the character's about and have the fucking scenario happen. Come on, game. You can do this. You can do it. Uh, talk to who? Ryojin? Isn't that a fucking guy from Mortal Kombat? Valorant, January 5th, 2023. There's an announcement for Valorant, guys. They're releasing a new character and a new map and a new game. It's going to be Valorant 2. There's going to be 45 battle passes. And it's going to be super heavily monetized towards skins for $50 each. Oh my god, Valorant 2 is on the way, boys. Let's fucking go, dude. I've never played the game in my life and I never will. Oh. Valorant Schmalorant. I've always said that and I always believe it. My head is starting to hurt a bit. Fucking hell. Oh shit, I was meant to fucking. Oh, whoops. I was meant to bargain. My bad. I used up all his money. I used up all his money. I'm so sorry. I was meant to bargain. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> oh, I, if only that had repercussions, but it doesn't. Yeah, 
Going to do story quests? Good luck, dude. They're kind of uh, painful. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm, we've been on this fucking dialogue for at least the past five minutes. At least. Oh, we're done. Nice. Alright, where to now? 30 gems. Oh, we got 196. I could do a, a juicy roll. I could. We... Oh. No, we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. I need to say... I need to fix my shoulder. It's kind of broken. This game is Resident Sleeper. I want to go to bed. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Jean quest? Ooh, I'm trying to think. I don't, you know, I'm not even going to spoil it. I was going to say something. I'm not even going to spoil it, dude. That's a quest. That is definitely a quest to partake in. That is indeed a singular quest. And that's all I'll say about it. It exists and it is real. There is dialogue and there is Xiao in it. They exist in that quest. Uh, defeat the hilly churls. What? Alright, open sesame. I've never heard that song. Hmm. Open sesame! Yep, thanks for showing me a cinematic of the door opening. Really appreciate it. Let me go, 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 let Nobody cares about this old man and this dude who lost all his money. It's much smaller than I remember. The, how did the old man get down here? Like, what kind- Bro, he's got a vision? This man's stronger than Zhong Li. What the hell? Bum 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 Every five steps there has to be a cutscene. Oh Oh I'm so mad at this game as an existence. Every five fucking steps. Just something to interrupt my flow of gameplay. Here it is again, another another cutscene. Here it comes. Ready, three, two, one, cut! Ugh. Did a bit of a music moment there. Bum bum ba 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 bum bum ba ba da 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 da. Bum ba bum. Maybe we can just go hand in the uh, Dendroculus. Maybe we can just do the Dendroculus farm. I surely have like barely any. Do the Dendroculus, so we can just get a lot of easy gems there. The the, the Dendroculus is easy gemage. Plus the, the cabbage. But we are in the middle of the RNR quest, and this does give a fair bit more. It's just that this quest is just so fucking shitly long. It's so long. 
Like, oh, they need this is like this quest is the only reason they need to add a skip button. This quest's existence is the only reason a skip button needs to be added. It's such a long quest. I think this is the only quest in Genshin that if you if you're skipping everything, no matter how like if you skip every dialogue, everything, you know exactly where to go, how to do it. It still takes like five hours to fucking do this whole entire quest chain. Oh, I don't think any game has this long of a quest that if you're skipping everything, it takes still like five fucking hours of active gameplay. It's not passive gameplay. It's active gameplay. Yeah, why is he he's just talking about fucking flowers? I don't give a shit. I'm a, I'm a deer. I don't give a crap about your fucking yellow Piccadilly Rose fence, dude. Look for the submerged cave. I'll look, my, I'm just gonna look at my fucking grave at this point. I'm gonna look for my submerged grave. I die of fucking yawning. What? What? Ligna? More like Ligma. What? Huh. Oh, there's a ceiling. Lower the water level. Mmm, indeed. Oh, yeah, I guess. Why not? Luxurious chest, dude? What the hell? I didn't even know that was there. Ten Jimmy Juices. Ten Jimmy Johnsons. My brain is big. I gotta go Ganshuan brain. My brain is far too large, I don't know. Just the fact that I knew that was there from like this this quest happening like millennia ago is just incredible. I never forget anything. I've never forgotten a single thing. It's crazy. Oh, 
bum 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 ba da 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 dum dun da da do 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 dun da 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 do Oh, and then you need a pirate character, so you switch your team again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Buy more jammies. Do I just go? Is this? Is this? The, oh, this is the other cave. Yeah. Yep. And then we got Yoni. Mark that bad boy up. Is that inside or outside? I'm gonna assume it's inside. Please be. I, I, it has to be. Yeah. There's nothing. Yeah. It has to be inside. Why does it? Oh, it's this one. This one's really fucking annoying, actually. I just realized I don't like this one. Doodle did it. Doodle did it. Boodle boop. Boodle boop boo. Yes, it's this one. No, I have to kill the enemy. Well, ah, I have to kill the guy, man. Cleanse the shit. Where's my chest? There it is. Thank you. Is that the mechanism? It is. Then we go through here, and we've got a bit of a dude, a bit of a guy. Oh, this was that guy. Oh wow, we're almost close to AR-60 again. 
on the on the second account. That's a bit. Well, that's unhealthy, probably. I returned to the secret base for 40 more juices. That's very unhealthy that I've almost got two accounts for AR60. That's very disgusting. Like, it, like I think I should be reported for just being an absolute fucking degen. Holy crap. This gives me another 40. And then I think I'll go do the, uh, the, the, the thing, what's it called again? The, the statue and the cabbage. Just to see where I stand in terms of gems. I think I want to get one 10 roll and I want to do something else. I'm, I'm already done of this game. I forget how long this game is. It's just every day. Every time I come back, I'm like, damn, maybe it's not that bad. And then it is like 10 times worse. We'll finish this off. See how many cabbages or how many things I can hand in. I should be able to get a bit. A few raw rolls. I'm a deer. Talk to Jazari. Who? Who? Sixty K XP from fifty six. That's not bad. That's like a that's like a like two weeks, two three weeks, I think. I maybe. I think that, that's not too far away from AR-56, so yeah, that's pretty good. How much do I need to get to 60, though? I need another 120,000. Hey, just a handful. Just a handful. Worship statue. Offer... All... There's another 60. We're getting up. Let's go see where this puts us. Oh, there's another one there. Okay. I think we should be able to get pretty high in this thingy. This should give us... Oh, maybe not. We have pretty low exploration in general. We have pretty just low fun. Low, low juice. Hold up. Come on. Come on, cabbage. Do me a solid. No, that's the wrong one! Now, how many can we get? No, there's none. There's none. Ah, oh, offer. Ah, oh, there's no rolls that we want. Fuck. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, at level 10, we get the, the two, two rolls of the ones we want. God fucking damn it, dude. This this game is a motherfucking scam. I'm saying it. Well, we got some single rolls on the standard banner. Nah. 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 Well, we tried. Uh, we have to go back to Jazago or whatever his name is. Hey, what's up, Neko? Welcome to the streamer. Hello, hello. Hope you're having a great evening.
Ah, open the door. Oh my god, the door's been opened and there's a testicle in the middle of the room. What the hell? What the hell? Bum ba bum ba dum bum ba da bum bum ba da ba dum bum ba da 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 da. Haven't I read his biography? Jazari, I haven't read a single word that you've spoken ever since we started this goddamn quest, I'll be honest with you. Don't really feel like talking to you or anyone, actually. Listen, we're going to do this for another 30 minutes. We're going to play Genshin for another 30 minutes. However many rolls or gems we get by then, we're just going to spend them on the Raiden Shogun. And whatever happens, happens. And that's it. I'm already sick of this game because of this unskippable dialogue. Uh, where do I go? Underneath? Oh, yeah. Pretty sick of this bullshit. Pick up. Oh, yep. Interrupt my gameplay flow. Love it. I get damaged because the game uh, interrupts me. Bam. Incredible. Place that there. It's starting up. Wow, the machine. It works. It's alive. It's alive. Who says that? Frankenstein? No, Dr. Donker. Donker. Dr. Doofenshmirtz or whatever. Who says it's alive? Dr. fucking... Some kind of doctor says it to Frankenstein, right? What the hell? Pick this up. Jam it in there. Pick this up. Jam it in there. That's how I want to Google that. Who says, and I quote, it's alive. S oh, his name is scientist Henry Frankenstein. Oh. I thought it was he made a Frankenstein. I don't know. Maybe he called it Frankenstein. It's alive! Alright, where's next? Where do we go? Up. Dr. Victor Frankenstein? It says Henry. This is the 1931 uh, movie. A 1931 movie. Uh, literally just called Frankenstein. So, no. Dun 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 dun. Is this a three or a two? That's a three, so it's up here. This one. Uh, okay. Yep. That's the one. That's the two. One to the two to the one to the three. Something, something. I don't know the lyrics. I just know that he counts. Sometimes I wonder why no one or a single soul character in Genshin asks what a Paimon is, why it looks like a baby, why it floats, I guess baby legs. No, people do ask that question, man. People do ask that question. It's just that it's not it's just not gonna get answered for like a long time, so people don't really care. Like there's there's not gonna be an answer on Paimon until like the end of the game story. Ah, uh, this is the three. Genshin character ask? Or IRL people ask? Oh, Genshin characters? No one asks. Um, talking about character. 
Oh, because in the world of Genshin, it, it's not really overly un unrealistic. There's dragons. There's fl there's like floating abyss mages. So it's not overly unrealistic for Paimon to exist. You literally have flying abyss mages as the main villain. And so when they just see Paimon, they're like, oh, it's just someone who can fly. So it's not really overly unrealistic. Um, Is it this one? Fuck, I hope I'm doing this in the right order. Oh no, I think I, I, I didn't put... Is this a single or a double? Oh, it's a double. That's fine, actually. No, it isn't. God damn it. Uh, the person who created Frankenstein Monster is Victor Frankenstein. But it says Henry. But it says Henry. Bear in mind, I did I did a quick Google search, so you probably did a bit more research. I don't fucking know. Victor sounds about right, though. It, do, it does sound a bit more old uh, European. Actually, yeah. Yeah, Victor sounds a lot, 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 uh, a lot more correct. Because it's in that, it's in that region. Victor is the name in that region of Europe or whatever, fucking Transylvania. Pen Pennsylvania, not Pennsylvania, Transylvania. What did Paimon is the Abyss Mage in disguise? That's a great question, right, Neko. Answers we'll get in the future. There's, uh, there's many theories people have put out there, but as for the answer, we won't be getting it for a very long time. Kind of looks similar. Um, I don't, I don't know about that one, Chief. I'm not, I'm not sure about them looking similar, but hey, fair enough. If you're talking about their floating animation, sure, they have the same floating animation because they they probably only made one animation for floating characters. But as for actually looking similar, wouldn't say so. Uh, go to top level, please. I know a lot of history about fate. Oh, because of fate. Yeah, true. Fate does teach a lot of random history. Like, not random history, but, like, different histories, right? It can't, covers all of Babylonia or whatever. A lot of, uh, probably a lot of Norse shit somewhere. A lot of Roman. Gilgamesh. Uh, connect the... What, connect the what? Any chests? No. There should be a chest in one of these. Not look, maybe ability. Uh, Paimon has displayed zero abilities to do anything. So, I don't know. There's a, the, the big theory that goes around with Paimon is that she's just lying about who she is. You know, people suspect that she's the... She and the uh, the, uh, the person, the uh, unknown god have a connection, right? There's many theories out there. But as of right now, Paimon is just a, uh, a, a little flying companion. I'm sure that's all there is to it. Because in, like, in many areas where she could have done something, saved someone, helped us, she hasn't displayed any abilities. So it's either she has no abilities or she's lying about who she is. And again, it will be revealed all in due time. Ever since Sumeru was announced, or sorry, the Sumeru story happened, a lot of people have speculated that Paimon is the Unknown God, purely because the Unknown, that, that there's that whole thing of using up your power and then you go back into a smaller form of yourself with uh, Greater Lord Ruka Devada into... Uh, Lesser Lord Kusanali. There's that whole theory. Um, but, who knows? There's a lot of things that can happen. And maybe we're just being lied to, deceived. You never know. You never know.
Maybe it's like Aichan, her future self will appear at some point? Maybe. Maybe. Th th that is a possibility, or, or someone of Paimon's similar race. The thing is, though, there is already, like, kind of potential between similarities between a few characters like Paimon, Dainsleaf, and, um, and the Jester. Right? There's a lot of similarities there that you can draw. A lot of the characters have similar things. They have similar eyes, similar capes, similar mysteriousness. A lot of similarities between a bunch of different characters that you can uh, string together very interesting theories. So it all will be explained in, in due time, obviously. But for Paimon specifically, characters, the people have a lot of interesting theories. Uh, but for me, I just I believe Paimon stuff will be dealt with once we get to like Kanria or once we start dealing with Kanria and Celestia. So, can you still write and getting good out there somewhere? But but man, before it kind of bad in my opinion. Um, it, well, bad is a very bad word to use there. It's it just wasn't important. Is the is the better way to word it? Nothing important was happening in in Leeway or Mondstadt. That's um. That's the, a better way to look at it. Finish your quest. You finish your quest. I'm still on this quest. Um, if you if you really look at all everything that happens in Monstad, the only th important thing that happens in Monstad is um is the end part where Signora appears. The only important thing that happens in in Azu uh, in Leeway is the last fight with Osile. Everything else is kind of filler, and so it's like they're just unimportant. Inazuma was kind of important, but like again. Uh, not overly interesting for the most part because you're just kind of running away. And it was kind of just like, it, it kind of felt like filler arc because there was no mention of anything until the very end of it. So that's the only part that I can really understand, uh, like, con consider bad, but I wouldn't ever consider it a bad story. It just wasn't important. Or uninteresting, if anything, I guess. Nothing super interesting happens until the end of every Genshin quest, and Sumeru kind of changes that by making the the first parts a bit more interesting. Because that's a good theory to go by, is um, if you want your game to story to be interesting, you have to make the start interesting. The very beginning of the game has to be interesting for then people to get hooked on. And then they have to start proceed to and proceed watching it because they're hooked on something interesting that happened in the beginning. And then you can kind of take your time getting into it, whilst also maintaining interest. Uh, that's that's like kind of how story writing should go. And that's that was kind of the problem with a lot of the early Genshin ones. But Sumeru, a lot of the, it's interesting at the start, and it's interesting at the middle, and it's interesting at the end. So yeah. I remember bumping into Hu Tao's quest a few months ago. I like Hu Tao's quest. Although, like, kind of not super interesting. I think I just like it because I like Hu Tao. A bit biased, but I don't care. I can't even remember what it's about, to be honest. Oh, it's about a spirit or some shit. Putting it to rest a spirit or some crap like that, I think. To be quite right, I can't remember the premises of many of the character quests. None of them are... None of them are overly incredible. Well... Not to say that they're not incredible, but they're not like any. No character quest is astounding except for like. Zhongwei's. Kind of funny. Genshin don't have Paimon Sealy, but Honkai have Paimon Emblem when you equip it, Paimon following around. What? Genshin don't have a Paimon Sealy? Um. I think it's because Genshin has Paimon. That's probably the reason, is because we Paimon's just in the game. Like, if I pause the game, I can just make Paimon appear. I think, I think that's probably why. Like, if I just if I just do this, there she is. So... That's probably why we don't have a Paimon Sealy thing? I, I don't know exactly know what you mean. 
but yeah. It's because we can just pause the game and, and have her appear. I like Zhongli Quest, but I only remember something about the rock ter terrain form or something like that. Yeah, there's only, there's not really overly important information in Zhongli. It's another one of the personal vices that I just like the character, that I like the quest. Um, but really, I just also like the, it's, it had to do with the Salt Queen or whatever, the Salt God. And that was kind of interesting. A bit. Not too much. You can do that, but you can't make her follow you around like Pet Sealy. I wouldn't want it, to be honest. Uh, that honestly doesn't that does not sound like a positive I'd much rather have the pets that we do have so yeah I don't know bum ba dum ba da dum bum ba da bum ba dum ba da ba da bum Afraid of Paimon keep going non-stop? Yeah, but it's like, also, we like, see her enough that I don't really give a shit about seeing her again. Like, I don't think they'd make her talk if she followed you around, because, like, I think, I think the devs are smart enough about that one. They make her talk in the story because she's the, the voice of the Traveler. But if you had a, a pet Paimon, they wouldn't have you have her talk, but like, I'd, I'd, even if I had the choice of Pine one, I'd much rather have the Cloud Retainer's thing. I'd r much rather use one of these pets than Dora, Shiki, or the Cloud Retainer. They're much cooler and much more unique, so... You know. I'm fine without a Pine one. Uh, go to the device. I got the Cloud Retainer following me. I don't remember where I got it from. It was the anniversary. That was the anniversary gift. You got it. It was like a login reward. In the mail. Bum ba dum ba da ba dum. Uh, and we go out somewhere. There we go. I just think Genshin should release a lot more of these things a lot more frequently, and I think that would be overall, or overall a better choice, right? They release more pets, more more skins, and like even add mounts to the like uh, collectible stuff, and I think the game would really thrive from you know, like grindable and collection items. You know, if, if they add, if they got added like mount system, there's a bunch of different mounts that you can grind or you can buy some if you want. Um, I think that would overall improve the, the the re not the replayability but the kind of like like factor. So yeah. Um, I got it active the entire time since I got it. It's yeah, it's fine. That's good. The pets are cool. I just can't sometimes disable it when I'm trying to fucking see shit because it sometimes it covers up things that I want to see. They should release a outfit every se a version one paid one free. They should. But they won't. If they haven't done it in the past year and a half or two two and a half years, released one per version, they're probably not going to start anytime soon. So, yeah, it is what it is. Return to where Rana is. I think we're almost done with the the main part of this whole quest line. So, how many roles do we have? We got we got like two roles. What's that? Like two, or maybe three? I can't I can't do the maths. Ugh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, what could I do really quickly to get some juices? Now let's roll. Uh, bam. Fuck. I will let this animation play through. Fuck. 
Come on, this this is the one. Fuck. But this game is so bad. This game is so bad, man. Uh, where were we? Uh, do I want to continue with the Rhino Quest, or do I want to jump onto Honkai and do my my Elysian Realm on my Asian on my European account? Mm, we'll see where this goes. Go to Karasaf. Oh, gee, man. Yeah, Genshin's skin game is probably the weakest I've seen in a lot of video games. The thing is, though, their skins are really fucking high quality. They just don't release them fast enough. Like, I think every skin in Genshin is fucking amazing. It's uh, but it's it's just like release them faster, like. Just do it. Just release them. Like, release one a patch. Like, or two a patch. Two every second patch. Don't, like, there's, like, too much time between it. Like, I would I would be fine with even uh, two every second patch. I wouldn't really be fucking bothered. Because they don't release two characters every two patches. Sometimes it's a filler arc. And so they'd be able to catch up eventually. But right now, they just... They, I think the last time we got skins was what? Uh, let me, music stuff. When was the last time we got skins? It was the... Deluke and Fischl, that was 2.8. We're in fucking 3.3 .3 right now. No, 3.2. 3. Yeah, we're in 3.3 .3 right now. Going into 3.4 soon. And there hasn't been any skins. It's like, oh, you can just release skins every, like, fucking patch or every second patch. It's fine. No one's gonna fucking complain that you're milking them for money. Because guess what? Skins are optional. And so it's like, they can just do it. And it kind of changes up the look. Because all these characters starting to look the same. And it's kind of getting boring. Especially that the game doesn't have unique models, right? That's like it has five models and that's about it. So it's like it kind of gets a bit boring seeing everyone be the same height, everyone be the same color, everyone be the same this. And so it's like just add something to spice it up and then hey, that's fine. Battle pass I hate it, the same weapon every version. That's fine. Like I guess you can personally hate it, but it's not a problem. There's five different weapons and the game also has a refinement mechanic. So you kind of, if they stopped with these weapons then like you just would never be able to get them to r5 unless you played for the next like fucking five to six years so and always bought the battle pass when these specific weapons were there so it's kind of it's kind of good they should expand the battle pass they should definitely like i think two years after or one year after they should have added more levels and made it easier to get high levels and that's where more rewards come in but <laughs> the, the weapons being there is kind of like a must with the way that the game works. Um, I'm not doing this quest. This is like way too long and way too much dialogue. I'll do this another time. We're at 49. I'm kind of curious now. How is my tree over here? Is this max level? I can't remember. I can't remember if this tree is max level. Do I have water? No, I don't. Oh, I do have water. Hold up. Oh. Maybe if I think... Uh, can I... Is it max level? I didn't see. Oh, it is. God damn it. God damn it. That's fine. Oh, well. Anyway. Let's, uh, for now, switch. <sighs> they could do two battle passes, classic battle pass, and something that have a uh, new weapon rotates. Uh, probably not. I've said this before, I think, get, uh, like, if you're kind of hinting at what Honkai's Battle Pass is, where it has two, like, it has three tiers that has free to play, uh, kind of $15 and then $30, I, I genuinely think that is dog shit, because who's buying the $30 one except for whales? They're not making any money off of that $30 tier one, so it's just kind of there for no reason. Like, it's, it's fair enough to hate, I personally hate the, um, the Battle Pass, but there's nothing wrong with it. Genshin's Battle Pass is quite rewarding. We're playing TCG for a bit. Ah. Hmm. I, need, I might go get some more water. Uh, let's start off with this man. 
Nigga, what I was in so. Uh, that one there. Ooh, terrible. Bam, 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 bam. Well, maybe not that bad, actually. And that gives us three charges of the shield, which is incredibly strong. Fucking hell, you're casting every card in the game. Give me a fucking break. That does three. Versus that doing two. Sure, I'll go first, I guess. I got no problems going first. I'll, I'll be able to just. What are you doing? He just killed his Ayaka. Bro, the AI in this game for the TCG is just, it's just something else. He just killed his Ayaka. Oh, if I could actually get some die, that would be alright. Oh, if I could just get one die, that would be incredible. If I could just get one decent die. Oh, Impeccable performance. Convert that. There you go. Um, da, 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 da. we could actually just kind of do a heal round, do that, that, and then, and we should be able to live quite well. We'll lose three more plus two. No, we'll lose two. We'll get, I get frozen. Yeah. Well, that's all right. We'll heal up to six. Man, mate. If he stays on Jing Cho, I might be able to get a good reaction, eh? Dendro. I need to get a Catherine if I want to switch and be good. Yeah. Sword. Hmm. Alright, fair enough. Uh yep. Ba dum ba ba da ba da ba da 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 Probably well actually I think he can if I end my turn now, I go first, so... He can't do shit with one dice. He can't do nothing. He can't do nothing, mate. There you go. And oh. Bro, can I get a Catherine? I guess I'm just gonna solo him with just the agent. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. I think I can... No, I can get him down to one. Why did it have to be one? If only I had a... Oh, there was a reaction on him. Fuck. Well, that's alright, I guess. He doesn't switch? Oh, he, dude, he's a cringe lord. Oh, dude. Come on, man. That's not cool. All right. That's fine. Is he got an ultimate here? Oh, Chong fucking Yoon. 
Normal attack? Oh, he's gonna freeze. He's freezing my whole board! Attack me again. Freeze this guy as well. Yeah. Good. This game is so cringe. Well, at least he didn't kill me, so it's fine. No, I should have played my thing. Oh, fuck. I've made so many mistakes, and this is the biggest one. That's right. What? Man did 15 damage in one round. Holy crap, he's a monster. So you can deal that, or you can deal that. Probably want the anima one. No, don't do that, dude. No. Um, wait, hold up. If I go that there, I should live. No, I can't feed him multiple food. Fuck. Shit. Ah, oh, hell no, brother. Oh, hell no. I get it. Vision of Decree. Gemma of Decree. Indeed. Indeed, that is the premise. That is exactly what I meant. Bro, what? Minus one? Is, I mine it. He did four damage? Bro, this guy is fucking cracked. Oh, hell no. I'm gonna eat that. End my turn first. Bro, am I gonna get soloed by fucking Jing Cho just because he has infinite shields? Oh, this game is fucking feral, mate. Alright. How does that not break his shield? Oh, because I need to deal two damage. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I need to deal two damage to actually deal damage to the shield. Yep, playing as a pirate character, get everything about paradise. Like, like this game. Ra -ta -ta -ta. One. What? Oh, uh, you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. Two. One. He's gonna act surprised by everything that happens. He shouldn't be able to do anything. What is that? Oh. What? Sug me off, man. Yeah, fuck you and your shield. I can't get Ito sword for Noel. I'm trying for Shogun weapon. Uh, if I can't get it, it is what it is. Then I'll just be able to pity to 60 or 50 or 60. Then back to full on character banning. Oh, fair enough. If you, you, I don't, I don't really build it, believe in this thing called building pity. I just think that's called rolling because you want to roll. But hey, fair enough. If any character I have got rerun, I will try to go uh, for their weapon. Good luck on those rolls then. I am a man who doesn't believe in this whole building pity thing. That's just kind of wanting to roll and then accidentally getting a thing that you don't want. But best of luck if you want to do that. Best of luck on rolls, hey? This is one of those games where you need luck. Fucking RNG in it. Uh, not those things, and these things are fine. I, I traded food for food, fuck. It's like food for food, tit for tat, what the hell? What the hell? Who did I pick? Dendro? I did. You got me? I just think that's a it's like it's a cobium thing that a lot of Genshin players say. Um, I've never believed in this whole building pity thing. I've sometimes rolled on character banners. I used to do this thing. I I talked about it early in the stream, where I just roll twenty rolls per patch just for the sake of fun. But it wasn't really to build pity. It was just because hey, you might as well roll. 
ever since then, haven't done it. If I don't like this character, I'm like, ah, fuck, this is cringe. I'm not going to spend a single roll. Because right now, on this account, I could be building pity, but I also could be accidentally wasting my um, my RNG. Or my uh, wasting my... Uh, my 50-50s and my um, RNGs and whatnot, my, my pities, and my, sorry, my guarantees. So instead of doing that, I'm just not going to do that. Ah, oh, I can get burning, that's alright. So, yeah. Because a lot of players say this thing of, at least, especially when you, like, uh, look at Twitter. Worst place to be. You look, you see, and they're like, oh, building pity for this new character. And it's like... Why are you building- why are you doing that? Because you can also just save those gems and then roll it on their banner and then you get them early, right? You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like, instead of, for example, using your rolls that you would use on Raiden Shogun on Scaramouche's banner, instead of going, oh, I'm gonna build pity on Scaramouche for Raiden, you can just go, I'm gonna use my- my fucking stuff on Raiden and maybe get her early, right? So it's, uh, building pity is just a, this weird copium that people would use to be like, yeah, yeah, I like gambling, I like gotcha, and yeah. Hey, listen, no, no, no shame to the people, but it's a, uh, it's a bit odd, isn't it? A bit odd. Oh, there's two battles. Oh fuck, I almost died. Shit. Did I? Did they get me to five or four, three, one, five? What? Geo? Joe? G.I. Joe? Who? Uh, let's draw some cards. I can do a whopping seven, but I don't think I will. No, I don't think I will. No, I don't think I will. What? Bam. Battle 2? Oh, I knew that they were going to be there. I fucking knew it. Alright, if I can draw an Adeptus Temptation. Oh, he goes first? What? Oh, this game sucks. The fact that I can I can roll and smoke his cheeks up into a fucking doobie. Oh, and then he just gets to go first. This game is so fucking ass. I get put at a disadvantage for being the better player. That's what this fucking game right now is. Oh my days. Being good is bad. Yeah, is the next one Electro? Of course it is. Uh... Two. Do I mind taking two damage? Yeah. Well, you know, we could always just do... How much damage does that do? Two. Uh, during this round, the ne the target... It's the, the target character's next normal attack. Oh, uh, you know what? Just for the sake of doing it, we could do that. Get that damage out now. Spend all my die. The next one we summon Animo. Oh, but he's gonna go to Pyro, isn't he? And fucking four switch me. Oh, what a cranked. What an absolute cranker. Uh, how much? How many die would I need? Three plus three six. Six die, of of value. Did I summon the Animo one already? No, that's Cryo. So we keep Animo. All right. What? I hate this game. This just in. I fucking hate this game. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. What the hell? 
Just are these things, the ley line disruption order, like fuck off. What a terrible mechanic. Oh, at the start of every round, we're just gonna give you the pyro element on your character. Hmm. Oh yes, actually, that's really good. Well, oh, jolly good show. I love the pyro element. Uh, we're gonna put that on him. We'll take zero damage here. And we're actually going to go up in HP. Boom! Oh, oh, Dendro and Cryo don't do nothing, mate. Oh. Oh, that's absolutely devastating. Bro, they don't level these NPCs up. They're kind of hard. No, I'm just using a bad team. Bro. I guess we power through him. I don't know. He's gotta like prepare or something. Just gotta get rid of these cars, they don't fucking matter. Sorry, he just did everything. What? My man's out here just doing God's work. Yeah. What? Oh, dude, I just hate this game. I just think it. I just think it. Just oh, just oh, this game just makes me so fucking mad. Oh, if my friend dies, I heal, bro. How? Where's the logic? Fucking. Oh, if my friend dies, I'll get a healing boost. No, dude, that's not how it works. If you die, your friend dies, you're both dead. Fucking hell. Yeah, fuck you, Wagner. Wagner. Wah. Crankin' stonkin'. Come on, go, go, go. Oh my god, two of the items that I just don't want us to have at the start of the round. We're going to pick up another one. Boom. No. Hydro? Oh, I never took the hydro thing out. Whoops. Whoopsie. That's an Omni. Yep. Knew it. We're gonna get three shield here. That's why we're doing it. I hope Honkai Part 2 is Honkai 4. I think it's time for them to create a new game. The game been out for six years or so now. What do you think? Um, It's kind of hard for them to do that now. It's really hard for them to do that now. Like, that would be ideal. But, AFO existing in Honkai 3rd is a problem. 
So it's pretty, not impossible, but it's not going to be a very easy thing for them to just create a new game to continue, let's say, something like the Afro storyline, if that's in any way what you were hinting at. Ideally, yeah, create a new game that is Afro and it, like, all of the gameplay in, in the game follows the Afro style of gameplay. It's open world a bit more. It's like, it's, it's pseudo open world. It's, it's, uh, it's a bit more hub driven instead of a main menu driven. That would be ideal. But Afo existing in Honkai 3rd makes that nearly impossible because, well, to, ha to, to get, if they, let's say they do create it and it follows Afo, they would have to either have to re-implement Afo in that game, which a lot of Honkai 3rd players wouldn't like. I personally think that would be dog shit. Having to replay something that I already have played to the same level. Or they would, ha they would have to say to players, to understand the intro to this story, you have to play this other game. Once you've played that, come back and play this one. But the thing is, to do that, it's a lot of content, right? It's a lot of content. Hmm. You want Honkai 4th is Afo instead of part 2? Well, what do you mean by part 2? What does part 2 mean? What do you mean by Honkai part 2? I don't know what you mean by, by that. Two damn three damage, what? Yeah, because part two uh, is, is a bit of a, a bit of a vague statement, so it depends on what you mean. But that depends on, yeah, what 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 I, what I mean as well. Because if it's just a completely restart of the story, they don't even have to call it Honkai at this point. They can move away from Honkai and start a different game with a different premise. I burned a card. Is that ten? One, two, three, four. Oh, it is fucking ten, isn't it? I'm blind as shit. Whoops, my bad. Okay. No Adeptus? That's crazy. Yes, it is his burst. What does he do now? Two pyro damage. Go back up to four. We'll take two, go back to four. Am I gonna burn a card next turn as well? Why is everyone shielded? No, I am gonna burn a card. Oh, that's painful. Ah, it works. Oh, heal. Yikers. Three damage, bro. The f he can do too much. He can deal too much. Mm. 
three plus two, five. Uh, the reason I want part two in a new game is the in the new game is that I want new style. If it's a new game, maybe we could have a male character, new combat and stuff. Well, that's essentially your, your what you're referencing is just Honkai Star Rail, right? That's really just all, all you're technically referencing. If you're looking for a brand new combat, brand new characters, brand new stuff, Honkai Star Rail is your choice then. Because that has males, that's a brand new combat, but it's still in the world of Honkai, or in the universe of Honkai. So, there you go. You just have to wait for Star, uh, uh, Star Rail to come out. It has to be after a skill? What? Why? Oh, that's fucking atrocious. I guess that's fine. He's stunned for the whole thing. Um, yeah, that's fair. I don't really know if that they probably won't do a new game. If, they, if we're looking for a serious answer, they probably won't, but um should they? Probably. At a certain point, yeah, Gacha Games kind of got to wrap itself up, but uh, then again, it's it's tough to do that because of investment, the time, the time sink fallacy, the 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 time sunk fallacy, whatever you want to call it, the whole idea of I've sunk many hours of my life, thousands of hours of my life into this one video game, how can I possibly just give this up or how can I move on? Uh, no Gacha game really, or no game in general wants to say, hey, we're shutting down because that means uh, first of all they're losing money. Second of all, they're disappointing their player base, and third of all, the player base has lost a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff. They've lost things. So, it's kind of hard to just shut down a game or close the game off, especially a gacha game. But, I don't know, I'm, I'm of the belief of, if they can make the game interesting, continue it by all means. But, it's, it's a whole back and forth between quality of life, keeping the game alive through other methods, making it fair to play for every player to an extent un unless you get to that high echelon of competitiveness where it's down to skill based and putting money in. Um, there's many factors that kind of go into just all of this that can you can make one singular game the pinnacle of kind of what you want to do with the universe without making other players feel shit because I know for a fact that oh Okay, we can't kill him. Um, that Honkai right now struggles from uh, from one thing, and that's making uh, it th the game isn't viable for everyone to play in any way. And then something like Genshin, it's too viable for everyone to play, right? So that these get, that's what Honkai suffers from is that it's it's not viable for ever. Like you can't just jump in and within a reasonable amount of time be able to compete without sinking a lot of money in. And so it's like it's like these problems that you can have to balance if you want to continue a game. But then to restart, like we just outlined, it's a bit of a problem because, or it's a bit of a struggle because restarting a game doesn't sit well with people who've sunk money into it, right? If you have a lot of money into a game, being told, hey, we're just going to end the game, we're going to start another one. It's like, well, do I, do I get to keep this account? Do I have, do I, can I have proof of like ownership of this? Where's this going to go? Where's this data going to go? Or is it just going to be deleted, right? And no one wants to have thousands of dollars deleted. That's the struggle. So I decide they probably thought it's better to make Afo into a new game instead of using part two story to create a new game. But they didn't really create a new game with Afo though. They added a game mode to their already existing game. And that's what I outlined earlier is just that Afo was a bad decision to add to Honkai Third because it's so different from Honkai the Third. It's kind of like a bit more open world, a bit more story driven. And by story driven, I mean interactive story driven with the world itself. A lot more information in terms of lore, not world like actual information, but lore. 
and it's just a lot more of a different game mode. So them adding it to Honka, that's the part that is really bad for them. So they could have made a new game uh, focused around Afo, and then Honkai could have easily ended at like, I don't know, now, whenever, whatever happens at the end of this arc right now, Honkai could have easily ended there, and then they move on to Afo. Um, but, you know, maybe they didn't have the information, maybe they weren't thinking, I don't fucking know. Afo, Afo Chapter Elite, probably the last chapter when we probably have a new game. Um, again, we'll have to see. I think the new game, I don't think Honkai will end, oh, they've already said six years, so who knows, but Afo is, like, sorry, not Afo, uh, HSR is going to be that new game. Like, there's no other game that Mahoyo is right now producing to do with Honkai. Um, Dendro. Yeah, uh, Mahoyo is not producing any other game to do with Honkai except for HSR. So, Honkai Star Rail is that new game, and seeing as it is a diff totally different game, I guess that's what we can expect, but... Who knows if Afa will be the last thing? Fucking developers are crazy. New game is Afo? No. I like I I don't think so. No. If if they do make Afo the new game, that's gonna be their worst decision. Like I said earlier, if it's it's to get context on what's happening in the new game, you have to play this other game. And it's a must-have because it's a direct continuation. And so you'll have absolutely no idea unless they want to make you replay the game in this new game. Which you should never do. Honkai HSR is a side game of Honkai? I don't think it's a side game. It's a continuation to some extent. That did nothing? What? Oh, fair enough. I'll go fuck myself then. Hmm. Oh, fucking stun. That should... Yeah. Alright, that's cool. We get two swirls there. Break your shield. Nice. Doesn't mean much, because he'll regenerate it! Um... Honkai right now, I guess, let's, let's conclude it with this. Honkai right now is in a very odd situation for one reason and one reason alone. They've confirmed, or they've said... The game, Honkai the Third, is going to have six more years of content. That's what they've said, from my understanding. I haven't heard them officially say that, but from what I've been told from numerous sources, is that Honkai Impact the Third has th six more years of content. Five, whatever they said, five, six years more of content. But right now, we're coming to the end of the whole fucking game, right? That's This is the part that that's putting the game in a very weird position. Is because 90% of players are like... But we're coming to the end of the story. So what the hell are you going to do for five years, four years after this finishes? Because this this kind of arc, the whole end of the world arc, is going to finish, I don't know, relatively soon. It's going to be like another, what, four chapters, maybe? If they really try to like prolong it, it can be another four chapters. But they've said that this game specifically is going to have much more content. And that's why it's really hard to come to some sort of cohesive conclusion as to what's what, who's where, and how's when. 
because elixir damage. Um, do that one because it, it just doesn't mathematically add up. So that's why I think a lot of people it's it's a bit up and down as to who's going to be where and what's going to be how. I personally don't think the game has got has. I don't think the game has six more years of interesting content. I I don't doubt that they can maybe milk it out. Um, I I have no doubt that Honkai can milk out some content for a, uh, for a while, but I have zero chance. I believe that has zero chance of being interesting content compared to what's currently happening in the game. What's currently happening in Honkai's story is rather interesting. I say rather interesting just because it is. It, like if you really think about it objectively, as much as I don't really care for it too heavily. It is interesting. It's like quantum time physics, mechanics, time travel, fucking back travel, end of the world, calamity, fusion, whatever. You got a lot of shit happening. And so it's interesting. But uh, once this ends, we go we go back to being St. Freya students or whatever. We go back to we go back to school. It's not going to be that. It's like having a second season of an anime that nobody asked for. So yeah, I'm back for a while. Got to do more cleaning. Hey, dude, welcome back. Welcome back. We've just been talking about a bit of Honkai here, a bit of, bit of Shimonkai Honkai. Chillin' Schmillin. Did I? Uh, oh, we did a uh, yeah, abyss, I forgot. Um, Yeah. Let me leave this place. We'll do TCG another night. We might play, we might, yeah, we might play Honkai, Genshin again this week. And we might do uh, a lot more things. I just want to do some weeklies, get to level 50 on the battle pass, and that's that. <sighs> Sigh. Well, listen, Honkai's kind of fucked itself in that regards, let's be real. It's no one. It's no one's fault but Honkai is in this, in this small dilemma that they've created for themselves. I feel absolutely no problem with this. Like if, if if the game ends up getting boring in the next uh, uh, after this whole uh, act finishes, I'm, you just stop playing the game, innit? Kind of just stop playing the game. There's there's other ones coming out. Like like ideally, by the time that this act finishes in Honkai, uh, the the end of the world arc. Surely HSR is, um, surely HSR is, like, surely to be at least released or announced when it's going to be released. That's the ideal world, is that people who don't want to continue with Honkai, they can switch over to HSR. And people who want to continue with whatever Honkai Impact is doing, they can continue with Honkai, Honkai Impact. Or people who want to play both, they can play both. Ideally, that's what would happen. Now, for me, well, listen, I've... I've got other games that are interesting to me as well. I've got Ether Gazer that I have no no qualms with getting in, into and investing a time into. I've also got Wuthering Waves that I have no problems uh, trading in for either of the Mahoyo games, right? I I have zero problems doing that because, listen, I like these games, but they're not like my favorite games of all time. I play them, but when you when you really think about games that you consider ga like your favorite games of all time, for me these games just aren't up there. They're great games to play on repeat. And right now I like them, but they don't come anywhere near to other games that I've enjoyed over my times. Witcher 3, Skyrim, Fallout 4, uh, Cyberpunk Edge Runners, or Cyberpunk, sorry, uh, 2077. They don't come anywhere near to those things because they just don't. So I have no problem. These games are cool. For now. For now they're cool. For now. 20 minutes though. These games are fucking hot shit. Hot fucking donkey shit. I'm saying it. Yeah. Oh my days. <sighs> Why I didn't like this? Who knows? You can't, there's no answers. We just have to wait patiently and see the outcome. The beauty of Mahoyo. Communication at zero. That's what I've noticed. The day that a gacha company communicates their ideas to their player base is the day I say I'm wrong. Until then, I'm, I'm always right. But the day that a gacha company communicates their ideas effectively and concisely with the, the whole player base through a Twitter account or through a Discord, whatever, that's the day that I admit that I'm wrong. Because to this date, it hasn't happened. None of these gacha games, not Wuthering Waves, not Mahoyo, not ether gazer not any of this none of that none of them have communicated communication is at a negative 10 if this was a leveling system like it is in skyrim you wouldn't have like 100 communication you'd have negative 50 communication because that's what it's like talking to these people 
Because I saw, I, I saw, what is it, Twitter posts? Or I think it was someone in the Discord. Someone in the Discord posted the whole, like, um, a Honkai Star Rail not, uh, like, talking in any way or announcing anything on Twitter for, like, six months or three months. And then out of nowhere on New Year's, they post one thing and then don't elaborate, right? I saw that. And it's like, it's true. It's like, it's like, bro. Yeah, you, 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 you have a game. You're not communicating. You don't talk for five years. You come in for New Year's. Happy New Year, guys. Disappear. What? I'm like, uh, uh, so those players don't care. They only care about Waifu and Yuri, which I don't like. So whatever Mahoyo do with Honkai, they okay with it? Um, yeah, let me try to decipher this. What do you mean by this? Uh, unlike those players, who are, the, who are those players? Who are these players? Who are those? Who are the players you're referencing there? They only care about Waifu and Yuri, which I don't like. Who are those players? I don't know these guys. Are you just talking about the waifu collectors, I guess? I'm meant to... Yeah, them, I guess. Um... Like, sure, I'd, I'm... Um... Yeah, uh, uh, sure, why not? They, uh... I think they'd still care. Like... But I think everyone cares about a game ending correctly, right? Like, for example, I would be annoyed if Afo was just created into a different game and you had to replay it to understand the story, right? To, to get the context of the first two, uh, Afo 1 and 2. Like, they, they make a game about Afo 3, but they also in it include Afo 1 and 2. I think that would be very bad. But at the same time, uh, I would also think it would be shit to only have Afo 3 there, because then you'd have to play Honkai. So they've kind of fucked themselves, so. Regardless of what Mahoyo does at this point, it's not a good choice. But we'll just have to kind of live with it, and that's that. That's how I view it. Whatever they do, I may not like it, but hey. That's that. What are you gonna do? It is what it is. That's my life motto for most things, is it is what it is. Okay, definitely sometimes read comments they just don't care about waifu uh, any other than waifus. Yes, but you have to you have to also understand, like like most things, there's a there's a thing called a vocal minority. Uh, it's it's a it's a word that's kind of been used a lot in recent years. A vocal minority that you may hear from them the most, but there's only like twelve of them, and that's obviously an exaggeration, but it's it's an example. You hear about them, but there's like there's only like it's it's like a very small percentage of players. Very very small. I have the wrong team on. I hate to start even thinking about what character I should create instead of release game. Yeah, well, I've, I've, I've explained how I've, I look at HSR right now. For me, they're still in kind of a grace period, but it, it is running out very quickly. 
I've really elaborated that I think they're trying to build up a world, which is a good thing, but they are taking their sweet time communic- It all comes down to communication. That's all I'm going to boil this down to. They can take as long as they want. They just really need to communicate their ideas. They need to start telling and in informing the players about what's happening. They Maybe not once a month, but like once every second month, a dev stream about the game would be helpful to have the, so the players know can they expect anything in the future at this point i don't even care what they announce or when they release the game just information constantly at a certain interval is good and helpful but again like i said no gacha team or gacha uh, dev team does that gacha dev teams have like a a, a, a physical and, 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 like, psychological opposition to information spreading. Well, whatever. They're not gonna do that. They keep everything in secret. Maybe worrying other company got information and stuff. Yeah, that's a that's a worry, sure. But a hundred and I hundred percent agree with that. Hundred percent. Like they are probably worried that you know their ideas will be stolen and whatnot. But in the end, j your ideas are, are your ideas worth that much that you want to lose the trust that players may have given you? Because the the more you delay your game, the less people want to play it, right? Like, unless your company is known for guaranteeing an amazing game, right? Unless your company is known for that, something like From Software that made Elden Ring, they're known to release some of the best games ever made. Elden Ring, Sekiro, Dark Souls 3, right? And just in general, the Dark Souls series, they're known for releasing the best premium games. So you know that, okay, I'll, we'll wait. We'll wait, because we know when we get our game, it's going to be one of the greatest. And it's going to go down in history, like Elden Ring did. So, Mahoyo isn't known for releasing bangers, right? So, keeping us on edge is not doing anything for them. Um, I didn't... Okay, I killed the wrong boss. I need to go this one. That's really all it comes down to. When it comes to keeping secrets. From software, keeping secrets? Go for it, bro. Key, you, you, bro, you could have the answers to the fucking universe. I could give less of a shit if you pump out a banging game. They could literally have a Philosopher's Stone and transmuting alchemical materials into everything else. Whatever. Do whatever you want. Whoever the producer is. Uh, Hideo Kojima or whatever. I don't fucking know. I don't know these dev teams. Whatever. But just, just make a banger. Do what, do what you're known for. So if you're EA, steal money. If you're Blizzard, don't do anything legal. So and yeah, that's pretty much simple. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know why, that's funny as fuck. I love this game so much. Yeah. 
Thanks, Zhongli, for climbing the pillar. I really wanted that. Thank you. And more off just for doing that. Incredible. Incredible. All right. I think we have a roll, boys. For level 45. Uh, we may have to do a few things. Cook dishes, forge items, realm currency, and we should have a roller. Let me go do that really quickly. Maybe request some bounties if I feel like doing it. Oh, but that roll could be something juicy. That roll could be one of the juiciest rolls we've ever done. Hold up, let me do this. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, yeah, I don't need to tell- You don't need to tell me that I've cooked eggs. I know that I've cooked eggs, dude. I put them on. Alright, I'm a Noma. I'm a Noma, please. Okay. Craft. Oh, I hate the UI in this game. I, I hate everything. I, I'm just an angry man. It's like clockwork, dude. Speed running. Uh, I'm finally done. Anything I missed besides Tomas story? Uh, not really. We haven't. We we did rolls on Raiden on the other account. We spend our things and we got absolutely nothing. So you missed that. Uh, other than that, not really. Not just uh, been been absolutely molding and schlolding. Uh, we wanted to do what? Hold up. Realm currency. You're right. Realm currency. Serena teapot. In go. Oh, we're about to I think we're about to get a single roll on the on the standard banner. We're about to get nothing again. Okay. Good. Yep, yep. No worry, Tubby. I right, boom, pow, bam. Oh, so close, dude. What do I have to do to that get that? Oh, I, no, you know what will take a while is doing the requests and bounties. What wouldn't take a while is mining and spending resin. That doesn't take a long time. So, re spending resin, I just need to spend, what is it, all the rest of my resin, which is just 70. Um, we can just go do the weekly bosses and then we'll get that done. Well, no, 60, 70. Yep. One more, one more boss. Uh, we'll go do Tortelline. No, we'll go do Ajdaha. Because Ajdaha is easy and is, well, he's easy and yeah, he's. Hush the team. Okay, bam. That's that done. Where's the boss here? This one. We haven't done Ajdahar in so long. He just doesn't do anything. He doesn't give anything. He's another useless boss added to the game. Relevant for four seconds. Let's see how fast we can kill him, actually. He should... He was used to be known as the one with the highest HP, and I think he's still, no, second highest now. Cool. 
Uh, I hate this animation, man. Very good. Very good, very good. A bow! Oh my god. Well, the next time we need to use that, that'll be great. But the next time they release good craftable weapons, which is never. Alright, claim this. Ready? Bam! What? We're 5 XP away? Oh, I hate this game so much! How do I spend 500,000 Mora? Bro. Oh, I hate this game so goddamn much. I, bro, there's... Uh, I need to go bathroom anyway. Nah, okay, we can do this really quickly. Fuck, dude. What? You gotta be joking, man. I don't want to engage in combat anymore, so... Uh, create furniture. There's a specific furniture that I make on repeat because it's so cheap. And it's these things. And for those who know, I have 71 of them, so... Uh, I got 71 of these bad boys because I've just... I just do this when I want to get the quest done. This is going to be the juiciest single roll of my life. I'm going to get everything that I need from it. That's the wrong one. This one. Bam. Whoa. Bam. Alright. Single roll. Here we go. Five star. Boom. Wow. Look at that. Bro, you see that hype? Oh my god, dude. I need to go bathroom. I was right. Uh, I was thinking about Blue Archive last night. Some people install Blue Archive players, call them pedo and stuff, but to be honest, I think they're no different because they are in the anime community, play anime games, so I doubt that they don't have anime waifu that age under 18. Um, so that's a tough topic. It's, a, it's an extremely tough topic because you have to differentiate a few things. It's a weird topic to end the stream on because we are concluding here because I need to go bathroom and I'm also starving. But let, let me elaborate this. The term waifu means something different to a lot of different people. It may, and, and generally speaking, it has two different meanings. Waifu can mean the, the weird one where you like the character a bit too much. You're a bit too into the character. Right? That's what That's one meaning. And then... The other one can be, you just like this female anime character, right? They're, those are the two meanings of waifu. You like the character a bit too much, or you just, this is, uh, this just, you like this character as a, and they're female. Waifu, I know what the actual meaning is, but it's the internal meaning that is actually important. Well, yeah, waifu obviously means wife, but there's a, there's a few internal meanings. People just, because uh, I, I like Nahida as a character. People would classify that as a waifu. No, I just like her as a character. Right? That's the difference. 
is some people go a bit too far and they kind of obsess over a character. It's, a, it's an obsession, per se. And so, yeah, I guess you can view it as everyone has a waifu, but not everyone views waifus as the same thing, right? It's a, it's a bit of a difference there. If you just view the word waifu and the concept of waifu as this is my favorite female character in this game, anime, show, then sure. But there are a certain subsect of people that view it in a dumbass way. Is Wakaba the only one that's 18? I don't even know what the fuck that means. Oh, is that Blue Archives? Oh, okay, then I don't know anything about that. But uh, I will I will say that there are probably people out there who are conscious um, about that. Like, there are, there are a section of anime community people uh, and, and just general anime-styled things that if they know a character isn't 18, they just don't like the character. It's a, it's a, That's another fucking thing that's weird. But regardless, just, just look at these characters as fucking characters and they're nothing more or nothing less. They're never going to fucking marry you. That's And that's how you get through life. We don't need to think about like, oh, bro, bro let's marry these characters. No, they're just fucking characters. Yeah, but that's that. What a weird topic to end on, but it's... I've, I've noticed it as well in Wasp, because I also browse anime Twitter and anime TikTok from time to time. And it's... There's a lot of degens in there, and there's a lot of weirdness that happens. Sometimes you gotta be like, these people are fucking weird. But that's that. Um, Genshin is done. We didn't fucking get anything done, but that's fine. And actually, we did get a bunch of stuff done. Uh, let me let me quickly claim this. Oh, another 20 jemmies, dude. Let's fucking mate. Nice. Uh, let me get back to the... Oh, actually, no, let's just quit out. Yeah, anime community fucking listens. It's it's like, it's just people, isn't it? It's just people. What do you do? Um, at least that's how I view it. I don't know. Like, it's, it's, this is the thing of perspective. It's it's all about perspective and whatnot. Um... Damn, it's crazy. Uh, anyway. I think they're going too far to insult them every time and those players didn't do anything to them, I assume. Um, well, sorry, yeah, okay, back to the po main point. Did I did I miss some part? Some people insult BA players, call them pedo. Oh, yeah, no, that's... Yeah, sorry, I, I missed the main point of that. No, that's it's absolutely wrong to just attack a community because, well, I'm assuming... Like, let me just have a look at the Blue Archive roster. I don't know these characters. Blue Archive character list. I'm assuming most of them are small women. Or just all of them are just women in general. Small children or whatever. Yeah, they're just like they're small characters dressed up kind of nice or whatever. Dr like dressed up in different ways. Yeah, it's it's a bit fucking dumb to assault, uh, assault uh, attack in a community based on just the game they play right because you know it's it's it, it goes both ways you know you play a game like god of war well you want you want to mass murder people right it's it's a bit of an assumption based on absolutely nothing so people who do that they're absolutely dumb and, and probably should be have their like freedom of speech revoked but freedom of speech is ex exists so you kind of have to just be like hey you're an idiot see you later you know there's not much you can do about that it is an unfortunate thing, but yeah. They don't deserve to be attacked for playing a game. Can't do anything at it. Uh, you can like a character, but the people just don't get that they don't have to make weird assumption of someone. Exactly, yeah. It's like, just because I play a game that happens to have this in it doesn't mean anything. It just means I'm playing this game. Because the same way that someone's favorite character can be something doesn't mean anything that, that they just, it's just their favorite character. It's a... It's a, it's a it's a, it's a simple concept that goes outside of people's brains because they like making assumptions and they don't, they have a, it's, it's narrow mindedness. I guess that's the simple way to put it. It's very narrow minded people that in, go, they, they only have one path of thinking and that's it. They don't think about anything else. If, if that straight down the middle thinking, that's the only solution. And it's, it's, it's they should try to develop, but it's, they won't. Is this human? Eh, hey, listen. Eh, kind of. It's, it's a judging people. Uh, it's human to judge people. 
not human to judge people based on absolutely no information. I've, I'm of the belief that, bro, if you're going to cast judgment, you need to know. You need to know things. And that's why I don't cast judgment heavily on games. I cast a very small judgment of what I know about games. Um, I, I cast judgment very literally on things that I don't know, but I don't cast full judgment on something that I have no information about. But there are people out there that I know that will hear someone play uh, talk about blue archives for example let's use this example it happened in the stream a few nights ago or whatever i think it might have been on the christmas stream a uh, person came in and they were like oh hello and they said subbed and liked oh cool thanks guy thanks for the subbing and liking then they saw that i make genshin videos they're like oh unsubbing because you play genshin it's an assumption based on absolutely nothing so you know it, it, it's that kind of stuff absolutely bonkers but if you learn and then make an assumption. I can't judge you or criti criticize anyone for if you if you ga gain information and then judge. Sure, whatever conclusion you come to, sure. But first, get the information. It was a nice stream, although I was late and don't come here much anymore, uh, like before, because I play out of PGI and read novels. Plus, I was busy. Hey, man, that's all good. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream, although quite a chill one. Glad you enjoyed it. And by all means, if you're busy playing games or having a bit of fun. It is what it is. Stop by if you have the time. I may judge something, but I'm not going to voice out what I think. Yeah. Because voicing out, I guess we're rambling on a bit here too much, but in the end, voicing it out means that you wholeheartedly believe it, right? You wholeheartedly, this is the truth. When if, you're th if you think something, it's a, you're, you're conceptualizing it per se. But if you voice it, you're like, that's the truth that I believe. And <laughs> listen, if you're, if you're saying, boom, that's the truth I believe with no information, Jesus Christ, I'm sorry for you. Uh, but that's that. Uh, people will insult people, and that is human nature at this point, with the internet being how it is. And you just gotta have to live with it, or, and, uh, or rebuttal with it with some very nasty comebacks, like you stink and you're smelly. Those are good ones. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, Genshin was pretty chill today. We didn't get right in Shogun, sadly. Uh, but it is what it is. We're gonna continue rolling on her uh, while she's up, and then after she disappears, we're gonna save for Eula. Um, tomorrow is pretty much all of Honkai. We're gonna, we're gonna do a lot of Elysian Realm again tomorrow. It's gonna be two whole massive Elysian Realm runs. Uh, as well as just general saving. We, we know how many gems we need, uh, for, uh, to get what I want in the next two patches. Oh, sorry, on 6.4. But we'll talk about that more for Honkai. But tomorrow is gonna be Honkai. And then some filler streams of maybe Genshin and Terraria throughout this week. So, look forward to that. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Really appreciate it. And, uh... Yeah, thumbs up. Thumbs up, guys. Peace out. Stay safe, drink water, and I'll catch you guys in the next stream or video. Peace out.